So, hello everybody, and by everybody I mean nobody because I haven't posted the stream yet. Okay, time to fondle little cute girl, cute Japanese girls. Let's see if that gets the boys coming. <laughs> Uh, what am I talking about, you may ask? Well, you shall see as soon as I start the game. Alright, then. And let's pierce one more thing. Nobody, because I haven't posted the stream yet. Okay, time to fondle the sh There we go. Okay. So, how's everyone doing? Let's get that window up there. Uh, the dog is running around being crazy outside. Sorry for all the noise. So, hello, everyone. Uh, did you guys all get your humble bundle? Your humble bundle 11? You gotta get it. You only got 7 days and 16 hours and 59 minutes and 8 seconds left. Probably less by the time that you hear this because of the delay. But, um, uh, I admit I haven't heard of most of these. Or this, uh, this... I feel like I've played before, but I don't remember that much about. This one I played on PSP. I played Guacamole on a demo on a PSP, and it was pretty fun. Uh, the Swapper is the one that I really, really want to play. I read about it before, and basically it's a puzzle-solving one, but you make all these clones, and you have to like switch between the clones to solve the puzzles. Admit it, I'm not very good at puzzle games. Um, and more games coming soon! Ah! Pay more than the average of four ni four fifty eight to unlock them when they arrive, which you should always pay more. Anyway, unless you're a douche. Anyway, so hopefully the Twitch information updated. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And, uh, yeah. Alright. So I'm gonna boot up the game. And uh, I bought a bunch of new games on Steam recently because they were all on sale. I was going to be playing Cats because I thought I had bought Cats because uh, it's out on sale, but apparently I didn't. And it's not on sale anymore. And much as I played the crap out of the original couple of Cats games, uh, which was a really early artificial life in, uh, simulation. I almost said inseminator. That is not what I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> much as I enjoyed those games, I don't really want to pay ten dollars for for the new one so no cats today but I have a bunch of great ones that I actually just installed um, that we will be playing I don't know not necessarily tonight but at some point in the future the one I really wanted to play tonight um, well eventually I want to play long live the queen which is basically you have these these layers of, of characters sorry dogs are barking it's distracting uh, where you have to like make incremental progress with each character because they keep getting assassinated and all this stuff. And I haven't played it before, but it sounded really fun. But first I wanted to try Go Go Nippon, my first trip to Japan, which I have no idea what it is. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Reverend Schmann. You are my first willing victim. Uh, but yes, I don't know anything about this game. It's very loud. Let's turn the music down. If I full screen it, you guys probably can't see it. Can I make it bigger? No. Really? I can't make it bigger? That's dumb. Oh well. Uh, I'll try this. See if it messes it up. Yeah, it messed it up. Okay. It also looks horrible, so you're not missing out on much. Aspect ratio correction. How is there not a sound? Oh well. We'll just do it this way. Do it this way, yeah! Uh, so how's everybody? How was your weekend? Enter my name. Am I a boy or a girl? Doesn't matter. I always go by name. <laughs> Open the tab of the currency in your country and enter the exchange rate. Well, last I heard, it's like 110. Actually, no. Now it's down to like 90 because our economy sucks. <laughs> yeah, stream night! Not official, just... Uh, just decided to. So I think this is like a dating sim. So uh, there will be a lot of voice reading aloud. If you hate that, then um, top right is setting menu sound setting. I did not even see that. It's all right. It doesn't matter. I already took care of it. Uh, but yeah. So hopefully you guys will enjoy my attempts at, at, at reading things aloud. I really do actually like dating sims, um, although they take a long time and I get really obsessed with like, I have to say the perfect things and make this character like me because I've been 
sorely mistaken before where I thought I was making a character like me and then all of a sudden they betrayed me and they tried to kill me. <coughs> Zealous! Ah, oh, my dear, dear Zealous. Anyway, all right, let's begin. Da 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 da. It's no use. Okay, we are definitely making the speed go better. More better. Whoa. Um, make the DVD text all of the fastest. Auto mode, we won't wor worry about because uh, I'm not going to use it. Okay. So, uh, return. No, no, just close. Go back to the game. No, where's the go back to the game button? <laughs> Save and load? Okay, that's good. Whatever. Revenge. No! What is happening? I will save all the progress I've made. Okay, go away! Seriously! What am I not seeing to go back to the freaking menu? <laughs> oh! I hit a button. I think it was spacebar. It's no use. My dream is finally coming true. I'd planned to sleep on the plane so I'd have plenty of energy, but I haven't felt the slightest bit tired the whole time. Should have brought my cool. But now, <sighs> I suddenly feel totally exhausted. But we're now beginning our descent. We ask you to fasten your seatbelts at this time. <laughs> Apparently you need a sound effect for putting your seatbelt. Uh, I can't go to sleep now! But at least I'm finally... I'm realizing my dream of coming to Japan because I'm the biggest Japanophile you ever saw. And that's a feat, because I live in San Diego. We have Comic-Con. Yeah, getting off at the airport! Da 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 da! This is... That landmass below us must be Japan! Wow! This is incredible! I've been saving up my money and studying Japanese hard, all in preparation for this day. My beloved Japan! I swear to make the most of my time here! But there's something I have to do first. I'm going to be here for a week. While I'm here, I'll be staying in the home of a Japanese family. Well, that's easy. I'll be staying with two brothers I met in a chat room. Makoto and Akira. Wow, those are really stereotypical looking dudes. They were so happy to hear I was finally coming to Japan. They invited me to stay in their home while I'm here. Again, not creepy at all. So first off, I have to meet up with the tomb of them. But where the heck are they? It's all of Japan. I'll just turn around the corner and smack into them with toast in my mouth, because that's how it always happens in the animes. I told them when my plane was coming in. I figured they'd be coming to meet me. And here they are! Da da da. Hmm. I don't see them in the crowd anywhere. And I don't see anyone who could possibly be them. What am I going to do? Cute girl! Ah! Uh, huh? Um, excuse me. Sorry to bother you, but are you Bane? Um, yes, my name is Bane, but... Then it is you! Thank goodness. I thought we'd gone to the wrong gate for a minute there. Um, but who are you? Oh my, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Makoto. Misaki Makoto. It's nice to meet you, if that's the right thing to say. What? Makoto? You mean you're... And this is... Oh, come on. Don't be so shy. You have to introduce yourself. Uh... Um, nice to meet you. My name is Akira Misaki. Um, if that girl is Makoto, then this must be Akira? What? What the? What the hell? I'm so disappointed! Uh, um, uh, I am uh, looking forward to seeing you. Da 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 da. Huh? What's wrong, babe? Ah. I like that they had to put ah in, in Japanese. <laughs> Well, well, Makoto and Akira, I thought you would be guys. Uh, uh, 
Hiromu Makoto and Akira boys' names in Japan? It's always been that way in the manga I read and anime I watched, so I just... That's true. Now that you mention it, we never mentioned that in the chat. And unlike Japanese, you can't necessarily differentiate gender through text in English. Those are a lot of $10 words to throw in a non-speak native speaker. Da 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 da. You know for the da da da, I'm just gonna go, because <sighs> saying da 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 over and over is annoying. <laughs> Hello, super unorthodox gamer. It's true that Makoto and Akira are often boys' names in Japan, so it sometimes results in misunderstandings. But it's not so unusual for them to be girls' names, like, well, with us. Hmm. It really surprised you, didn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. I see. Then Makoto and Akira were both girls. Yeah, took you long enough. I could have sworn they were boys, putting the ass in assumptions. Huh? Wait a minute. If they're both girls, does that mean I just stumbled into a week's stay in a house with two girls? Boner time! I totally did! Ha <laughs> And now that I look at them, they're both super cute. This might be my lucky day. I must fondle them immediately. Now that the misunderstanding has cleared up, let's try this again. <laughs> Smuggling potatoes. My name is Misaki Makoto. I'm studying English literature at a university in the city. I look forward to getting to know you. I'm Bane. I'm Batman. <laughs> I know that much. I'm not retarded like you. Ah, uh, that's right. I look forward to getting to know you. Yes, indeed. And this is my little sister, Akira. Hey, Aki-chan. Nice uh, to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Oh, sorry. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, tsundere. What the? She seemed so happy a minute ago. Why is she giving me the cold shoulder now? What is it, Aki-chan? Why are you so angry? I'm not. I'm not angry. Oh, sorry, I need to give her a new voice for her. I'm not. I'm not angry at all. Oh, don't say that. Are you still mad that he thought you were a guy? Not at all. I said I'm totally not mad. Come on. You were so looking forward to seeing him. Huh. I was not. I wasn't looking forward to it much at all. I'm a tsundere. Right out of the box. <laughs> you're so... You're not being honest. Um. Ah, I'm sorry. It looks like Aki-chan is in a bit of a bad mood. Don't take it personally. She's like this with every guy. Uh, but she looks kind of pissed at me. She's not. She's really not. It's just... Just what? She's just at that age. Please don't worry about it, okay? Okay. Well, anyway, now that introductions are finished, we'd better get going. I'd like to get you home as soon as possible, but first, I have a favor to ask... What is it? Well, you can speak Japanese, can't you? Yeah, I've been studying it back at home. I learned from manga. Good. Then from now on, I'd like you to speak as much Japanese as you can, okay? To tell the truth, Akira's English is a little bad. I see. Yes. I had a feeling, judging by her pronunciation earlier. <sighs> huh? What? But didn't she speak English in the chat room? I translated all of that for her. Ah, oh, that explains that. Anyway, could we switch to Japanese from here on out? Sure, I understand. Then let's start again. Makoto, Akira, I look forward to getting to know you. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Then let's get going. Okay. I like how they're like, yes, okay, okay, yes, okay. Just, just so many unnecessary things. To get to our house, first we have to go into Tokyo, of course. Go into Tokyo? Huh? Isn't the airport part of Tokyo? I'm afraid not. We're in Chiba, the prefecture adjunct to Tokyo. This is where the history lesson comes in. It'll take a little while to get to Tokyo proper. I never knew that. It's a little inconvenient, but it can't be helped. Tokyo being as small as it is. Anyway, I'd like us to check off to Tokyo. But there's one other thing. Oh, sorry. Ah, I keep not paying attention to text color. Anyway, I'd like us to head off to Tokyo. But first, there's one other thing. Listen, do you have a cell phone? A cell phone? Yeah, I have one that does international roaming. That's got to be expensive. I see. That should be okay. What do you mean okay? Oh, that. What do you mean okay? If you didn't have one, we could rent one at the airport. 
I was going to recommend rec no, 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 recommend renting one, but I think you'd be fine using your phone. I can kind of speak Japanese, actually, but very slowly and not in kanji, so yeah. Okay, then let's head to your... Wait a minute. Uh, what? Take this. Huh? This is a card? What the heck? This is called a Suica. Suica? Yeah, how should I explain? A prepaid transit card. Prepaid. What is this prepaid? I don't understand. Yes, you top at the the back. You top up the value at the card, then touch it to the ticket reader at the station and it automatically deducts your train fare. <laughs> you guys are funny. It's a convenient thing to have. You don't need to calculate the fare of your destination or worry about buying tickets. Wow, Suica, huh? Sounds convenient. Convenient. There's another type of transit card in Tokyo called Pasmo, but it works the same way Suica does. However, Suica can be used all over Japan, while Pasmo can only be used in the Kanto region. So there's Pasmo and Suica. I'll have to remember that. There's one more thing to watch out for. A Suica or Pasmo alone isn't enough to get you on a special express. Oh my god, so much talking. If you want to ride a special straight, I see. Eh, Suica, I don't care. I see. Wow, I see. It even has Suica written on it. Looks like you can... Yes, that's true. Okay. The machine is off card. That's right. You want to try? Yeah, I have five thousand here. Uh, touch panel. Uh, choose them out. Uh, whoa! Woohoo! I did it. Very well done, you idiot. Now you should have five thousand yen worth of cash stored in your card. Anyway, shall we finally head to Tokyo? Sure. How do we get there? Let's see. There are several ways, but the best method might be a special express train called the Narita Express. So here is a special express ticket. I bought it for you in advance. It's worth two thousand dollars. You owe me sex. Ugh. Oh. I've heard that in Narita Airport, you can buy a bargain set with a sweet special <laughs> express ticket that comes with uh, so much talking. But only 400 dollars I guess I will just do it this way. Yes, thank you. Anyway, let's go to Suica. Just remember, if you're going to Suica, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I got it. No, you take out your wallet. Huh? Then how am I supposed to use my Suica? Just bring your whole wallet close to the machine. Huh? Yeah, I'm not sure he believes you. If you think you're putting it, just try it. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't know it'd be so freaking knowledgeable. It really worked. Japan is amazing. I didn't believe them at all. A card you can use while it's still in your wallet. It's like magic. Hello! Just touch your wallet to the IC card terminal and... Oh! It made a noise! I'm so excited! That must mean I can pass through! Or I'm a zombie. This is so useful. I don't even have to take it out of my wallet. It's really fun! <gasps> sad. So sad. Whoops, no time to get lost in thought. I need to give my special express ticket to the station attendant. Great, now I can ride the Naruto Express. That only took three hours. Oh no, the train's about to leave. Come on, hurry up. Huh? Uh, wait a second. Come on, hurry up. Here, we're going. Wait a minute. Don't pull me so hard. You're a little girl and I'm a weak little nerd. <laughs> Translated to... Oh my god, Japanese pebbles. We're here. So this is Tokyo Station. So to pass out, hold your Suica up to the turnstile terminal. Ah, oh, some numbers appeared on the screen. It's like magic. Ah, oh, I see. It must be the train fare and cash remaining on my card. Here we are. This is Tokyo Station. This is... Wow, this is a train station? I guess it must be since we got here on a train after all. This guy is... special. But there's so many stores and restaurants and souvenir shops. This is less like a station and more like a shopping mall. Has this guy never been outside of Podunk County? There's plenty of places in the U.S. that are just like that. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking how big the station is. That's true. Even Japanese people get lost in Tokyo Station if they're not used to it. Wow, I see. Wow. There are four- oh my god, talking. Well, yes, it really must be huge. And I will boarding, so you better keep close. Huh? Where are we going? Where else? Our house, of course. Oh, right, I forgot we're going to your house. Sorry, so late. We'll play a time show you around the city tomorrow. Thanks, I appreciate it. I thought this would be more dating sim and less boring shit. <laughs> sorry. Okay, we're here. This is. Yeah. Or, er, sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, I had a burp. This is the closest station to our house. The closest station to their house? Why am I repeating everything with a question mark? I guess I'll be coming here a lot in the next few days. 
Anyway, it's quite late. We'll head straight home tonight and show you around tomorrow. Wow. This is the town where Makoto and Akira live. Even so. What's wrong? You look so disoriented. It's just a regular suburb. It's not that strange, is it? It sure is. This stuff is completely foreign to me. <laughs> what? What's so foreign about it? I like her, are you stupid expression? Because that's what I'm feeling. Well, like that vending machine over there. It's got juice and cigarettes. Those go terrible together. That's true, but so what? It's the kind of thing you see anywhere. It absolutely is not. I don't think you'd find that anywhere but Japan. <laughs> A prequel to Tracy. <laughs> really? Ah, really? Ah, voices are hard! Really, at least, that's not how it is in my country, because my country sucks. I guess there could be other countries with vending machines out in residential street corners. Anyway, there's so many stores open at this time of night. Hey, look at that. That store is over there. That's a konbini. Konbini? It's, oh, it's short for convenience store. You can buy things like food and magazines there, even household supplies. So, like an AMPM. They're open 24 hours, so they really are convenient. Ah! 24 hour store that sells all that within walking distance? Well, yes. These girls are looking at me like I'm crazy. But there's so many 24 hour stores and vending machines around. All these things that would never exist outside of Japan. Again, have you never been to a big city in America? We have plenty of that shit going. But when I think about it, I guess it's a sign that it's a really safe area. How do you figure that? That's Japan for you. <laughs> I feel like this was made by the tourism board for Japan. I don't. This is weird. Here we are. This is our home. Come on in. Oh, our parents aren't home, so you can rape us any time. I, oh, I heard you're supposed to leave your shoes by the entrance of Japan. I guess it's true. Yeah, he says everything on his own. Like, it's... That's one of the things I hate about a lot of anime and manga is like the repeating lines, especially shonen manga. I'm just like, why? <laughs> All right, Japanese style dining rooms have a tatami mat too. Oh wait, okay, Japanese style dining rooms have a tatami mat too. I'm glad I remembered to pack my good socks. Soft mats used for flooring in traditional Japanese rooms. Wearing shoes or slippers on tatami is a big faux pas. <laughs> It would be embarrassing if I hadn't. This is the living room, and that's the kitchen, you dumb shit. Please make yourself at home, you stupid fucker. Thanks. In exchange, you have to not make a mess. Uh, I won't. All over my face. That's right. Anyway, let's go to your room. Sorry, NC-17 rating. This game is boring if I don't make perverted jokes. This is a Japanese-style guest room. Will it work for you? Huh? Um. Wow! Sorry for broken eardrums. Huh? A tatami room! A Japanese style room! That's amazing! I can really stay here! This is. Is this what Japan thinks of Ryubu's? Really? This is painful. We hate people like this too, Japan. Just so you know. People like this are terrible. Uh, um. Yes, well, this is our only guest room, so... Yes! It's been my dream to stay in a tatami room! Thank you! Let me grope you now, please. I see. I'm glad you're happy about it. Anyway, as long as you're here, you should think of it as your room. Make yourself at home. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Makoto! What? It's so rude to refer to you by your first name. Oh my god. Um... Where are your parents? If I'm going to stay here a while, I'd like to introduce myself. Oh, our parents aren't here. Shock! <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was rated a mature game, so I'm assuming there's some etchy buried somewhere way deep down beneath the bullcrap. What? Um, what did you just say? Our parents were called out of town for two weeks on urgent business. Uh, <laughs> it's a shame. They really wanted to meet you. So I'm afraid they won't be back until after you've gone. I'm really sorry. Anyway, I have to help with the dinner preparations. Could you wait a few minutes and then come to the living room? Uh, sure. Just get a quick quickie out. 
All right, we're good. Their parents aren't here? They won't be back until after I'm gone? In other words, the whole time I'm in Japan, the only ones in the house will be in the house house. <laughs> in the house house. House house. Yeah. House house. House house. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, will be Makoto and Akira and I? That's how this is going to work? No way! I mean, it's not like I've done anything to feel guilty about, but I did just kind of come in my pants. I have to stop thinking about this. They've been nothing but good to me. I can't betray the kindness they've shown me by ejaculating on their face. I'm not going to think about that stuff anymore, like ejaculating on their face. I won't think about it. I won't. I'm a gentleman. It comes in my pants. A gentleman, a gentleman, a gentleman. It scares you how well I do the girl voice. I am a girl, buddy. <laughs> wow, but check out the spread. The table's covered in food. Lies. It is It is clearly empty. What a liar. <laughs> it's supposed to be silly. I'm not... Yeah. I know, right? Aki-chan's been slaving over it all day. What? And then she left it to go to the station. She just left food on the table. That's, that's disgusting. Uh, I was not. I was not slaving over anything. I'm so tsundere it hurts. That, sh that should be a t-shirt. Probably is a t-shirt. I need that t-shirt. So tsundere it hurts. That would actually be a perfect t-shirt. Do it! Someone make that t-shirt and send it to me! Okay. Sure, sure. I won't say anything more then. Hee <laughs> You really should be more honest. Huh? What's wrong? N nothing. I just can't stop coming. Huh. Is it that surprising to hear that I prepared all this food? N no, not at all. I just didn't expect it. That's the same as being surprised. That's true. But either way, Makoto seems like she ought to be the cook of the family. Anyway, I don't care. If you're anxious about it, you don't have to eat. I'm not anxious. If you've been working on it since morning, I have to eat it, even though it's probably all spoiled by now. I, I told you, I didn't work particularly hard on it. How stereotypically Sunday can you get- Ah! I'm, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna care anymore. I'm gonna treat this like a parody and pretend that this is a parody and not actually this bad. I mean, the graphics are clean. You think it would be less cliche, but... <laughs> Aww, I like tsundere's when they're not super stereotypical and overdone. But yeah, I am getting kind of over tsundere's too. There, there's a lot of them out there. Now let's toast to your first day and our first meeting together. Um... Cheers! Kankai! Cheers! Fine. Cheers. There's plenty of everything, so please eat your fill of this spoiled food. Okay, um, oh, uh, that's right! There's something Japanese people say before eating, isn't there? Before eating? You mean, eat the dakimas? Yeah, that's it! Okay, one more time! Eat the dakimasu! Eat the dakimasu! Eat the dakimasu! <laughs> How is it? Mm. <laughs> That's a weird noise. <laughs> it's great. This is amazing. So go ahead, Isn't that nice, Aki-chan? Why are you saying that to me? Because you're the one that made it. That's true, but... Your cooking is amazing, Akira. I can hardly believe it. So you think I don't look like a cook, right? That's not what I'm saying. Really? You really weren't thinking that? Of course not. To tell the truth, I was thinking it a little. Hmm. Um. There's still some left. Hmm? The food. There's still some left, so you can say if you want more. Akira. Hmm. Sure, thank you. This is a weird exchange. <laughs> wow, we got a uh, people in the chat for once. Must be because I put fondle girls in the title. You boobies. No, it's because I actually announced more than ten seconds ago that I was going to stream tonight. Aren't you proud of me? I actually gave you guys warning for once. Sigh. The food Akira made sure was delicious, and I even got to take a Japanese-style bath. It was exactly like an American bath, except that I showered first, so I didn't fill up the water. The washroom is kept separate from the bathtub. Why don't I get to see myself naked? I guess people here really do use the bathtub for daily relaxation. 
I never thought a bath could feel so good. I was even more surprised that you could fill it with hot water with the touch of a button. This guy is clearly from, like, Arkansas or something. I don't know. How is he so amazed? <laughs> Fondling does bring all the boys to the yard. And they're like, it's better than yours, damn right, it's better than yours. Anyway. Apparently that chick has a cooking show. I was I was at my friend's house and, and they advertised that. I'm like, why would I care how cook she cooked? I don't know, whatever. I don't watch cooking shows. They're, they just make me hungry. They said you could touch a panel in the kitchen and it fills with hot water to the proper level. Japanese people are obsessed with the idea of a bath. But it feels so amazing, I can't exactly blame them. I love taking baths. I just don't like how cold it is afterward and also the, the hair dye coming out. But yeah. <laughs> I'm so delicate and feminine. Yawn! Wow, the heat from the bath made me so sleepy. Now that I think about it, I didn't sleep on the plane at all. Wow, it instantaneously got an art. I could spend a nice night on my futon. But before that, I should charge my cell phone. Good thing I brought an A-Time blah, blah 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 and plug for it Japanese outlets. Now to set the charger. Okay, this should do it. I'm gonna make the most of my day in Tokyo tomorrow. I want a horse. Why are you talking about horses? I want a horse. I want a horseback riding. Tokyo, huh? Ah, I wonder what's waiting for me out there. Obviously, more additions to my hentai harem. I've got to fill in the album album of my mind with all kinds of sights and information. Okay, that's kind of hurting my throat to do that. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> I wish I knew what you guys were responding to because of the delay. Day one! Yeah! Hmm. Which is apparently translated to mmm. Huh? Had it? What is this room? Let's see. Nanda. Kono heya. Where the heck am I? Koko wa itai. I can read. Hiragana and katakana, I just don't know how to read kanji. <laughs> Exclamation point! I know! I'm in Japan! <sighs> Last night I achieved my dream of coming to Japan! It's not a dream! This is totally real! <sighs> I'm in Makoto and Akira's house in Japan! And today I'll tell- I like how this recapping all this stuff that literally just happened, like I might have forgotten in the last ten seconds. And today I'll get a look at all the city of Tokyo. The entire city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which means I can't afford to sleep in. I better get up fast. But first, time for my morning ejaculation. Bathroom, bathroom, see? Japanese toilets can't be so different from... NANDE! Or maybe not. It has buttons. I am confused. Beep, beep. What the heck is this thing? There's all these random buttons. What are they supposed to be? Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Okay, I'm gonna push one. PUSH! It's not like it's going to explode on me or anything. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, here we go. Switch on. Systems on. Engage enemy. Hmm? What is this? It's like a warm breeze blowing up from deep inside. Oh, my ball sack. Why does the toilet blow wind at me? Okay, I'm gonna press another switch. Take this! Huh? What the? Now there's a nozzle rising up in s What? Whoa! What the heck? Hell, sorry. There's water! Water shooting out! Someone make it stop! <laughs> Goliath online, there you go. Ah! Okay, that's not a real laugh. <laughs> there we go. You don't have to laugh so hard. But, but, I wasn't expecting a cry of distress so early in the morning, let alone find you drowning in the toilet. You loser. There's no way I can keep from laughing. <laughs> oh, Aki-chan, really, it's rude um, to laugh so hard. You're one to talk. You're laughing too, Onei-chan. Onei-chan, older sister. W what are you talking about? I'm not l laughing at all. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? I don't know anything about all the toilet functions. I will upload this to YouTube. I, I, I don't have time to make videos and stream, so I'm just going to do both at once. <laughs> Who would have thought a toilet would wash your butt after you do your business? 
They even blow hot air out to dry you. Japanese people have crazy ideas. But once I get used to it, it really did feel kind of nice. <sighs> Was that creepy enough for you? I'm sorry for laughing. Everyone makes mistakes, especially dumb Americans. Gaijin. It's okay. Now that I think about it, it really was pretty funny. Ha 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 ha. Sure, it's best not to hold back and laugh when something's funny. That's right, and it's nice to hear her laugh after she was so put out yesterday. Anyway, here you go. I made breakfast for both of you. Hooray! <laughs> Honestly, I've been starving ever since I woke up. Let's see, the breakfast menu is... Oh, salad, bread, and eggs. This is... I was kind of hoping for more of a Japanese-style healthy breakfast, but... I thought you might prefer a more familiar kind of breakfast. What do you think? Oh, uh, sure. That's right. This is about what I usually eat. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well then, I guess we'll eat. I guess so. Sure. We say itadakimasu, right? Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. What well, Twitch is crapping out on you? Maybe you should close the other Twitches and just watch me then. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, what do you want to do today? Have you decided where you want to go? Is this entertaining? Could I? Should I play something else? I mean, I'm I'm having fun just doing the voices, but I don't want you guys to be bored. <laughs> Who's ready to be famous? <laughs> I don't have any viewers, but you. Uh, it's funny that you think that. Where do I want to go? No, I was going to think about it later. Where do you recommend? To be honest, I was thinking maybe Akira or I might accompany you. What? Just the two of us? Yes. One of us has to take care of the house with our parents away, so we couldn't both go, but... What do you need to take care of? It's a house! It'll survive for a day! Yeah, and we're on break from school right now, so it shouldn't be a problem for Onechan or I to take you around. Seriously? That's great! I would appreciate the help! So obviously the choice is going to come up of Akira, the tsundere, or Makoto, the stereotypical older, si older sister. Older sister, older sister. So uh, you guys should vote! Tsundere or older sister? I made the camera too small, you can't see anything. Hee <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Vote now, because by the time I get to that point, maybe it'll show up in the stream. <laughs> so, I know it's sudden, but where would you want to go? Hmm, let me see. Where would I like to go? Ah, I know. First off, Onechan, can I have a minute? What is it? Just come here. Uh, you just stay put for a second, okay? Uh, sure. Well, there they go. What was that all about? Oh well, I guess I'll just wait for them here. Wow, you guys like the older sister, really? <laughs> you don't like Tsundere. <laughs> but I like being the Tsundere's voice better. Okay, we'll do the older sister. <sighs> they told me to wait, but it's been five minutes. What on earth are they doing? Obviously having lesbian incestuous sex. Sorry about that. Sorry for the wait. Oh, there you are. What on earth? Ta-da! Uh. <sighs> <laughs> Welcome to Nasaki Tours. Um, what's up with the outfits? This is what tour guides wear when they show people around. Don't ask why we have them. It really gives it that touristy air, you know. Oh, honestly, Aki-chan, did you make these clothes while I wasn't watching? Huh? You made these clothes, Akira? Is there nothing you can't do besides sit there and be adorable? No, you're good at that, too. Yep, that's right. She must be really skilled to make things like this. Hehe, <laughs> I guess I can't... Akira-chan. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> I guess Aki-chan was so looking forward to your visit, she even made tour guide clothes. That's not it. That's not why I did it. Wow, that is not the right voice, sorry. My, you're blushing. Akira. I said I'm not. Grr. A anyway, here, let's pick our itinerary. Did you decide where you want to go? Oh, yeah, more or less. In your pants. Okay, then where would you- er, no. Then would you like to choose a region? A region? Let's see, I want to go... Uh, I get to pick a place. In this game, your travel expenses will be shown on the screen as you travel. Train fare will also be shown on the screen for convenience. All travel expenses between Makoto and Kira's house and sightseeing spots will be the same fare as traveling between Tokyo Station and the night sightseeing spots. Got it. So let's save. 
No, 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 no. Where, how do I open the menu? Menu! Menu! I'm hitting buttons. Hopefully I will find the menu. How do I open the menu? No, I don't want to do that. I want to save. Oh, I can't save. Really? Where's the save button? I want to save so I can come back later. I'm so sad. It doesn't seem to be a save button. Well, FML. All right, whatever. So, oh, the roommates are home. I don't freaking care. So, where do you guys want to go? You want to go Akas... Asa, ah, da, words are hard. Asakusa, Akihabara, which is of course the nerd capital. Ikebukuro, which is kind of like Akihabara. Ginza, which is uh, has the gay district somewhere in there. Shibuya, which is like the most standard store, the, the, the touristy place. And Shinjuku, which used to be the, the the touristy, geeky touristy capital, but I guess Akihabara. Uh, Took over it. <laughs> ah, I am hard to talk, uh, to good at talking at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna read the chat for a little real quick because I haven't. You guys are talking fast all of a sudden. This game is the kind of thing that can get you banned. Oh, <laughs> I am not. Uh, I am not worried. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Um, this is fun. Hell, this guy goes for 20 seconds. Still here because it's fun. Was it fun with me? Older, older, older. Okay, older. Got it. Uh, zipper roof in the bottom. And it's to be never this side. Okay, troll. Glory in the pond has yet to install home service save points, I guess. Well, usually, freaking most dating sims I've played, like, you can jump in and save at any point because that's what people are supposed to do is they, they save at every point and then they go back and explore all the options because the cool kids don't actually stick with a, a mode and see how it turns out. All right, did you guys vote? Ginza? Okay, there's only been one vote, so I guess I, I will count to ten. And if nobody else votes, then we're going to Ginza. Ten, nine, eight. Okay, that's hard. Uh, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Those are really quick. Whatever. All right. Ah, is the chat still working? It seems like it kind of froze, but I don't know. Ginza. Let's go to Ginza. What the fuck happened? I think I'd like to go there. Here. Ah, wrong button. Wow. What? That place is known as Japan's upper class district. In other words, I'll be showing you around today. Anyway, get your things ready and we'll go. Oh, so apparently it's dependent on which area you pick. So, lucky us, we got the older sister like you guys wanted. You just say which one you want. <laughs> Hi. All right. Sorry, M. Dragon Frost. No, no Dark Souls today. Instead, we're going to fund the little girls. Yes, I said that. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I am doing character voices and it's kind of killing my uh, throat, but... <laughs> uh, okay. I'll be showing you how to get your thing ready. Upper class district. What could it be? This should be fun. I love looking at rich people and getting stared at. Wow, those are amazing graphics. Suddenly production value. Chad worketh. Worketh. Hooray. So this is today's destination. Gake. Cake. However you say that. So this is the place we'll be touring today. Ginza! Boobs. Ginza. Yes, Ginza is famous in Tokyo as home to many high-class stores. Wow. The gin in Ginza means silver. Over 200 years ago, in the Edo period, Ginza was a place where they minted coins. That's why it came to be called Ginza. <laughs> well, thank you, I think. Wow, I see. So it was full of upper-class shops, even in the era of the samurai, huh? Not exactly. Huh? During that period, the shopping district was primarily next door, in Nihonbashi, which is now a business town. Ginza itself is more of an artisan's town. Really? Then what did it take the form we know today? This is totally how normal people talk, by the way. I need to have more camera just so I can make more hand gestures. It's not because I'm an attention whore, it's because I need to make hand gestures. <laughs> You might know this, but during the era of the samurai, Japan closed its borders to other countries, because we're totally freaking xenophobic. 
That lasted until 150 years ago when the shoguns lost political control. As foreign relations began again, the people of Japan were terrified. Don't worry, you just have to skip through this stuff, and then we can fondle little girls. They were shocked to think that such technologically advanced countries existed out beyond the sea. 150 years ago is around the time of the American Civil War, and the World's Fair in Paris. Yes. Seeing that, Japan worked so hard to see that it wouldn't lose technology and influence to those foreign countries. At around that time, two great fires swept through the Ginza area. Nearly all of the buildings at the time were made of wood, so naturally the whole area was burned to nothing. It was sad, obviously, but the people of the day were determined not to let things end with that. You had caught- oh. <laughs> You're referencing the character. I thought you were saying I was doing that. I was like, you can't even see my boobs. What? No, you can't. Ta-da! Enjoy! Are, are you satisfied? They're not very impressive. My girlfriend has huge boobs, but we won't get into that. They took to the Jap- er, sorry, they took the Japanese proverb, Waza- Wazawai- Wazawai Tenjite Fuku no- ah, I can do this. I can do this! Wazawai Tenjite Fuku no Donasu. It means when bad things happen to you, you make the best of them. They took the- uh, what? Why is it not working? Ah! Sometimes it stops working. They took the opportunity to develop the new Ginza as years went by. Before long, department stores and theaters appeared, and people began to flock to it as the cutting-edge shopping district in Japan. And that's on Twitch now. Hey, I don't care! I see. I think me talking about ejaculating in little girls' faces is way worse, so, uh, no shame here. <laughs> You're saying Ginza was the first modern shopping district in the modern era? Something like that. Hey, boobs are back! Even now, large shopping districts throughout Japan are referred to as the Ginza of X. They're all named after Tokyo's Ginza. No. Wow, sorry, I misread that. Now that you mentioned that the buildings around here do have a kind of retro feel to them, it must be remnants of that era. Ah, there's one more point of interest here. Point of interest? What is it? You'll see it if you check a map of Tokyo after you get home, but this place, you'll see Ginza southeast of so Tokyo Station, and it feels quite far inland. But 300 years ago, it was a wetland. A wetland here? Are you saying that this place used to be by the ocean? Actually, I'm by? That's right. The ocean used to run up against Ginza's eastern side. They filled it in 300 years ago and used the reclaimed land for a fish market that became very famous. I didn't know that. When you look at it now, it's hard to believe it was ever coastal land. Right? So to the east of here, across the Sumida River, there's an area known as Tsuk... Tsukushima that was also reclaimed from the ocean. So for I don't even care about all this bullshit. Canals, city of water, water. Anyways, I'm not sure I should look around and get the shirt. Okay. <laughs> I did what, did what bit? What? What are you talking about? What bit? I don't have bits. <laughs> Ginza. It looks like such a modern city with all these buildings everywhere, but long ago it was right by the ocean full of canals, full of boats hauling things everywhere. Guess all that green water levels rising stuff was all lies. Ha ha ha. When you think about it, Tokyo is such an exotic city. Canals. I just like saying that word. Canals. 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 Water. Canals. Ugh. Told you, you get really excited. About a hundred years ago, when Giza was striving to- No! She changed her angles. I can't see her boobs anymore. Not the middle, the, the, the sweet part. When Ginza was striving to become a leading business town, they say that just walking around Ginza was a sign of status. What the heck? Maybe it's because we were talking about water, but suddenly I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> what is happening? It was to the point where they coined the term Ginbura. But it doesn't... Oh, but it doesn't look like there are any public toilets around here. Oh, you might have heard this, but the Bura and Ginbura comes from the word Bura Bura Suru, to walk around aimlessly. <laughs> what? Hey, what's wrong? Are you listening? The guy has boots. Did I do that? I just feel like... Let's just get out of the way, you know? Yes, these are here. They exist. Are we good? We can move on? Okay, let's move on. What? Hey, what's wrong? Are you listening? Uh, sorry. I just really had to go to the bathroom for a while now. Huh? Have you been holding it in all this time? Ugh. No, well, I... Hee <laughs> hee, don't worry about it. We can use a bathroom in that department store. They totally don't mind if we don't buy anything. Sure, let's do that. 
uh, but I don't know if I can pay. I don't have any small change. What country are you from where you have to pay to use the bathroom? India? You don't have to pay to use a store bathroom. They just glare at you if you don't buy anything. <laughs> uh, don't make it too weird. Three weeks, this vid will be fresh. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, not even in Ginza do they charge people for using toilets. You won't need change. Ah, oh, I see. Why would you think? Ah, uh, yes. I don't think there's any bathrooms in Japan that charge you to use them. But when you have to go, uh, when you have to go, a department store or a supermarket is your best bet. I see. But this is no time for lively explanations. I'm going to hit up the toilet in that department store. So wait for me. Take your time. I will. Phew! Didn't shit my pants like a sim. Yeah, but it really did shock me. I can't believe even department store toilets have that auto wash function. <laughs> and the water in the boys' urinal is set to flow automatically. The boys' urinal? Yeah, you didn't use the men, you used the boys, because you are a boy. You troll. Japan puts an amazing amount of effort into their toilets. Why are you so fixated on toilets, dude? Yay, boobs is back! I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them new names. Uh, boobs and. Tsundere. I, what should what should we nickname Sundere girl? Just just I like Sundere, but yeah we'll find. I'll let you guys decide. Sorry, didn't mean. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to keep you waiting. You didn't. No worry at all. More importantly, where do you want to go now? Would you like to walk around Gin some more? <laughs> Let's see. We've been walking around for a while, but this all feels out of my league. I know you said it was upper class district, and the stores have all clearly high glass crap. Blah, blah, blah class brands, and obviously the only reason to ever go in department stores is if you're actually trying to buy, buy stuff. Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk! Flat chest. <laughs> Boobs and flat chest. <laughs> ah. You guys are silly. How about flatty? Flatty, flatty McFlat Flatterson. Boobs and flatty. I like that. Hmm. I see. In that case, let's travel a bit further out, shall we? Sure, that sounds good. In that case, where should we go? Where could we go? I know, over there. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> I'm glad you're excited, but do you even know where we're going? Obviously not, but I know I'm good. I know I'm in good hands with you, boobs. Huh? Huh? What's wrong? N nothing. N nothing at all. Anyway, let's go. Sure. I'm coming. Well, here we are. This is... I should probably save, huh? How do I... How do I save? No, how do I... Save? Oh, there's a menu. Save in the second spot and close. What is the quick save button? There's no quick save button. How can that be? Whatever. What time is it? 6.52. We've been doing this for like an hour. No. Go. How do I make the... There. This is Japan's second tallest building, Tokyo Tower. Obviously, as soon as we walk in the doors, we're going to get attacked by aliens and Godzilla, because that's what always happens. <laughs> Boots. This is Tokyo Tower? Why am I staring at the base of it? Yes, 333 millimeters tall. It was constructed in 1958, so it's blah 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 blah. A symbol of Tokyo, I see. Incidentally, they say the total number of visitors to Tokyo Tower is over 160 million. 160 million? That many? Yes, that's how beloved a building it is. It's pretty ugly, jeez. Tokyo Tower. To be honest, I've been wanting to see it myself. <laughs> I'll show you the tallest tower. Ah, in my pants! Wow, really? Yes, really. Yeah, you'll see it a lot in Japanese anime and movies. True. It's the setting for a lot of dramas, and there are even songs about it. That's right. I've even seen it destroyed before. In anime. But I see. So this is Tokyo Tower. What shall we do? Shall we go inside? Let's go inside. Yeah, as long as we're here, let's go in. I should be doing it like a super stereotypical, like, American accent, but what does that even sound? <laughs> Whoa, you guys use numbers here! So many dots. Boobs! Are you okay, Makoto? Um, yes. The view from the observation deck is amazing, and yet they didn't even bother drawing it. And we didn't have any problems with the look-down window. 
After that, I expected a trap to be lurking in the last part of our visit. A trap? You mean a, a, a man dressed as a woman? Because... They could be fake boobs. They probably are. I'm just saying. See? There's a wax museum in the tower. That's random. We went out in curiosity, but it had a creepy atmosphere, and in the very end, they had a wax recreation of medieval European torture devices. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? is happening <laughs> it was obvious that they were fake but some people are just weak to that kind of thing weakling i'm sorry i didn't think something like that would be in there no it's okay you look a little pale though maybe we should go home come here into my welcoming arms don't worry it'll be a or i'll be okay after a bit of rest no way don't worry about me okay but if we go home don't worry, okay? We'll still have lots of time. I still have lots of time in Japan, so let's call it a day for now. We can look around more tomorrow. Now let's go home and have sex. Bean. Okay, if you insist, I'll go along with you. Wait, no, that! Wrong voice. Okay, if you insist, I'll go along with you. Okay, then let's go home. You missed the best part. No. Ah! Uh, what? Um, I'm sorry. I told you not to worry about it. You really are kind. Don't say that. Blush. Thank you. What was that? Yay, awesome graphics. Dollar seventy-eight. <laughs> the best sentence of 2014. Yes. We got home and got some rest. Thankfully, Makoto was feeling more of herself. Feeling more of herself. <laughs> that was a Freudian slip. Uh, thankfully, Boobs was feeling more herself again by evening. To tell the truth, I wish I could have spent more time with her. But I'm sure we'll get to walk around again another day. For now, I'll just have to make do. Living in the same house as these two totally hot underage girls. Oh, wait, no, I guess she's not underage if she's in college. La la la. Wow. La 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 la. What are you wowing at? Oh my, you seem so enraptured with Akira, you pedophile. <laughs> What? No way. That's not true. It's it's just it's the first time I've watched her cook. She seems so at ease with it. Oh, I see. Akira makes dinner like that every day. Every day? Yes. Our parents are always busy with work, and they get home late. Once we're old enough, Akira started cooking every day, and I never help out because I'm a lazy sow. Hum, I see. It's a lot of work having boobs this big. Yesterday I was surprised to hear Akira was such a good cook, because I'm a sexist asshole. But now that I see her in action, it seems completely natural, even if she doesn't have boobs. Oh, that's right. I need to start switching their uh, names out. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Maybe Flatty is more feminine than I thought. <laughs> Ironic line! Because <laughs> obviously femininity is defined by how big your boobs are. Obviously. Hmm? But why just Flatty? As the older sister, wouldn't it be your responsibility to do the cooking? Um, well, I can't cook. Because that's my fatal flaw. As you suggest, I did attempt it at first, but I switched the salt with the sugar. Ah! But? Flatty said she didn't want to leave it all to me. That's... Come on, it's not like it matters. Now, let's see what's on TV. Because you only have two weeks here, so obviously we should spend it watching television. What? Huh? That's strange. I thought we had some left. What's wrong, Flatty? The ingredients for dinner. I didn't buy any since I figured we had enough in the fridge, but it looks like I was wrong. Ah, oh, what should I do? I can't possibly walk to the convity. I can finish without it, but it'll lag for taste a little. Do you want me to pick some up? <laughs> Go back to Flatty. <laughs> I just pushed a bunch of stuff over. That was smart. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by you. <laughs> Not at all. Wait, you're going shopping now? Well, yes. By yourself? Obviously not. Walk with her, you douchebag. Um, yes. Why? Are you crazy? That's dangerous. What? Come on, it's dark out there. It's dangerous for a girl to walk around alone at the time of night, even if your boobs aren't big enough to knock someone out. Don't be silly. It's not dangerous at all. There's no such thing as crime in Japan. Sponsored by the, tra the Traveling Bureau, of the, the, the Tourism Bureau of Japan. 
Yes, it is. I'll go instead, because I totally know where I'm going. Do you even know where to go or what to buy? Well, Flatty could tell me. Do you know Oage? Then I'll keep... Then I'll need some kan kanaboko. Oage, thinly sliced, deep fried tofu, often used in soups or as a wrapper for sushi rice. Kamaboko, a firm cake made from fish, usually sliced and placed in soup. Go with her, be free. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you guys are very excited all of a sudden. <laughs> Um, I really do wish that Twitch didn't have like a 16 second delay. If you get famous on Twitch, do you not have a delay anymore? Is that how it works? That's why I was going to go. Why don't you just go with her, you dipshit? Then I'll go with you. That will solve the problem, right? And then we'll totally leave her alone in the house and she'll get raped and it'll be awesome. I mean, terrible. <laughs> I suppose so. Well, let's do that then. I have no reason to refuse. Weird, this, this, these random lines of dialogue that are just so freaking weird. And also cliche, but mostly just weird. That's that then. Don't worry, I'll keep you safe. I like how they have this like 10 minute dialogue to decide like one decision. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you. You're very reliable. You're like not faithful. You come every 10 seconds. And if anything goes wrong, I'll protect you. I'll be your shield. Your tiny, weak, nerd shield. I'll jizz on any bad guy's face. That would legitimately scare most bad guys away, I want to say. So? Huh? Do you see anyone who might want to cause me harm? Me! Not at the moment. Oh, wait. Not just that. This place is incredibly peaceful late at night. I told you, didn't I? I said it would be fine. But obviously crimes do occur in Japan, and it is more dangerous at night than in the day. But it's still not really late enough to worry. Even then, as long as you're a little careful, you probably won't get into much trouble, unlike all the anime that shows people getting raped and murdered. I see. It is, even this late at night, there are young girls in short skirts walking over. <laughs> what? <laughs> This game is so unintentionally hilarious. Is this country really that safe? I kind of regret acting like I could be her cool bodyguard now. I might get taken out by a gang of women wearing small skirts. Roy Mustang would be proud. But... Huh? No matter how safe you think it is, things are never 100%, you know. You might be getting followed by a creepy American nerd who's gonna rape me at any second. Oh, did I say that aloud? <laughs> Ah. Having such a wonderful bodyguard today makes me feel perfectly safe. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Sorry, sudden sex change. Boobs. Let's see. Oage and Kamaboko and... That's it. I don't think I forgot anything. Yeah, I have a brain. Okay, let's head back. Hi, Stefka! Oh, let me carry the bags. This is a rape simulation. No, it's not actually a rape simulation. It's a, it's a, it's a tour of Tokyo dating sim thing. I don't know. It's very, just, just watch, watch and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. I can't refuse such a sweet offer. It's nothing. Dot 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 dot. That reminds me, you're good at English, you know, boobs. Really? Thank you. Hearing you say that makes all my studying feel worthwhile. Can I ask something? Why are you studying English? Huh. Well, there's no particular reason for it. I just want a green card. By the way, are you legal to marry yet? I just thought it would be a nice skill to have for when I look for a job and would open lots of opportunities in the future. That's about it. <laughs> you guys are so bad. Oh my gosh. I see. Are you disappointed? You were expecting a more noble reason? Not at all. Whatever your reason, it doesn't change the fact that you're good at it. Besides, it's because of that that we were able to get to know each other. Because I can't possibly learn Japanese, even though I theoretically already learned Japanese. Aren't they supposed to be speaking Japanese right now? That's what they said at the beginning. I'm so confused! <laughs> That's true. I should be saying foo 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 when she laughs, by the way. So let's try it. Okayari. Sorry. Okayari. Okayari in a sigh. A traditional Japanese phrase used to greet a person returning home. 
I know that from the end of Final Fantasy X 2 which was pretty much my introduction to, to Let's Plays slash video game videos because I could not stand that game enough to actually legitimately beat it. So I watched videos of the ending. The end. Tadaima, here, I brought this for you. Tadaima, a, tra a, a, a traditional Japanese phrase used to announce one's return home. <laughs> I do the sweet girl voice a little too well. It's awesome. I love it. I like to whip that out on, on would-be predators. I'm just like, hi, and they're like... I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm gone. No, I'm kidding. They don't care. <coughs> They'd be a little confused, but not deterred. Anyway. Thank you. I'll get things ready so you wait here. That reminds me. Akira's bad at English. Wow. Mean. Brutal. One's good at cooking and bad at English. The other's bad at cooking and good at English. LOL! It's pretty mysterious to have sisters so opposite like that and totally not a cliche anime trope at all. <laughs> Anchor baby. You guys are hilarious. I love you all. I love every one of you. I have 16 viewers. You guys like watching me be creepy in a dating sim more than you like watching me die repeatedly in Dark Souls. Noted. Yawn. Walking around today has me exhausted. I guess it's true that spring in Japan is pretty cold. Good thing I brought some cold weather clothes. But I hear it's hot and muggy in summer with a lot of sun. If I come here in summer, I'll have to prepare for that. To be honest, I was only going to play like 10 minutes of this, and then I was going to go to a different game, but I'm having so much fun doing the voices. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Should I continue? I'm going to I'm gonna continue until you guys start saying, you know, play something else. What time is it? It's 7. I keep thinking it's later than it is. I haven't had any of my Smyrnoff eyes. Hey, Ilsa and Anna aren't that different. Of course you prefer Dark Souls because you're obsessed with Dark Souls. <laughs> anyway. Train team death battle I knew all along when she asked me for the D. Was D. Lost the D. Okay. <laughs> I will. Why do you guys keep mentioning YouTube? I will. Theoretically, XSplit is recording this as a local file which I can upload. Although XSplit was acting kind of weird when I loaded it. So it might not be working that well. But anyway. But I hear it's hot and muggy in summer with a lot of sun. If I, didn't, if I come here in summer, I'll have to prepare for that. <laughs> I don't really get that upset at Dark Souls except when invaders come. As as M. Dragon Foss can say, uh, I do not take getting uh, invaded very well. <laughs> Sexual tension is high, really. Exploit. Exploit. It's the program I use for streaming. Which I just bought another three month license for, so it better be good. Alright. Then so you can buy. You even buy suntan lotion in a konbini, so there's plenty I can buy after I get here. You can get suntan lotion at a normal AM PM too. Why is that amazing? These are open 24 hours and they have a huge selection, like crap food and suntan lotion. I'll never have to go to another store again. Konbini really are convenient. That's like the third time you said that. You have to go use the American toilet. Don't fall in. Don't forget to take that paper off your butt. Day two! Oh god! We're almost done! No, I'm just kidding. We're only one seventh of the way. <laughs> you guys are silly. Yawn! It's morning! Oh, 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 I gotta get rid of the stiffy. I guess I'm still a little jet lagged. I feel completely exhausted. Did we lose Stefka? Did I, was I a little too profane? I'm sorry, Stefka. I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm pandering. I'm forever pandering. No. I wish I was. That guy's awesome. But my time in Japan is limited, so I can't stay in bed all day. I've got to get up right away and get ready for another outing. I wonder where they'll take me today. I bet it'll be fun. But first... Time to have breakfast. Well, that was really quick breakfast. Holy shit. I'd better wash my face and wake up. Wait. You had breakfast and then you woke up? I'm confused. Uh-huh. Q walking in naked. Ah! Huh? Oh, what a surprise! Screen cap. Now we just wait for the 20,000 people to pop into the stream. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Those are... This is not attractive to me. Like, I'm all for girls with big boobs, but... That's so not attractive. I don't know. Whatever. Ah! Uh. Huh? Dot dot dot. Uh, uh. Oh, sorry, that's him. Uh, uh, uh. Um. G good morning. That's totally an appropriate response. 
Are you kidding? What are you saying, idiot? I mean, I, ah, uh, can't talk because boobs are in my face, boobs. I'm so sorry, boobs. Please forgive me, boobs. By the way, butt, butt, boobs, butt, boobs, butt. In fact, we should call her tits and ass, but that's a little too profane. TNA. New name, TNA. Or should I stick with boobs? You, you guys tell me. Um, what? Would you mind closing the door? Uh, sorry. Damn it, I'm such an idiot, I didn't even knock. But, boobs, she's just as stylish as... <laughs> Talk she... Stylish? What is this place? Okay, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to go back and read you guys' chat because you guys are talking faster than I can actually talk. You like tits and ass better? Tits and ass is hard to say over and over though. Plus it's also kind of profane. Aren't you not allowed to aren't you not allowed to swear on, on Twitch, even though plenty of the famous Twitch people swear all the time? <laughs> Tina <laughs> Tina doesn't isn't funny though. <laughs> Busty boobs big pee. I like TNA. We'll say TNA. <laughs> TNA. She's just as stylish as I thought she'd be. I wish I, I should have screen tapped that. That was hilarious. Uh, I mean, that's not the time to be thinking about that. This isn't awkward at all. I'm sorry. <sighs> I was just... I was just so tired I forgot to knock, and then I just stood there and stared at you because I'm a nasty perv. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, it can't be helped. <sighs> I wasn't trying to walk in on you on purpose or anything like that, although it begs the question, why did you lock the fucking door, you dumb shit? <sighs> so I, um, I'm really, really sorry. So please. I don't blame you. Huh? There's no lock on the washroom door, so you couldn't help it. You still could have freaking knocked. <laughs> hey, girl. How you doing, girl? Um, please, forgive it was just an accident, right? Ah, totally recovered! Of course! I was If I was doing it on purpose, I would have taken a closer look. What? Um, nothing. Nothing at all. I wasn't, um, yeah, it was just an accident. Total act of God. Act of God? What are the words that are coming out of this dude's mouth? Like... Even though I was the victim of it. I like her little brows. She's like, I'm slightly angry at you. <laughs> well, it wasn't your fault this time. I'll forgive you. For real? Yes, but please be more careful next time, or I might have to punish you, you bad, bad boy. Sure, I swear, it'll never happen again. Happens again five minutes later. Thank heaven. For a minute there, I thought she was going to say that having a guy under the roof is too dangerous and I couldn't stay here anymore. But, huh? Remember, I'm taking you at your word. If it was Aki Cha, sorry, if it was Flatty you walked in on, I don't know what would happen to you, because she is a tsundere. She'd probably throw a table at you. <laughs> Her triceps form a natural push up problem. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> what sound effect is that? No kidding. If it was Flatty, I caught that. If it was Flatty, I caught changing in the washroom. <clears throat> Just thinking about it, I feel a shiver of pleasure. Huh? <clears throat> good morning. You guys are up early. G good morning. I, I just woke up a little early. Huh? What? What is it? Did something happen? Well, now. Oh. Um, I forgot her name. Uh, tits and ass, don't tell her! What is it? Something's up, isn't it? Uh, not at all. Anyway, I'm super hungry. What about you? TNA. <laughs> I missed the tits. No, 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 I got the tits. I got the tits. Oh, you mean the, the, the video. Don't worry, I'll put it up on YouTube afterward and you can watch it there. <laughs> I am. Huh? Phew. Boob's not gonna... Ah, sorry. It's hard to remember. Phew. Tash. This is, this is getting really hard. She's just tits. She's just tits. Phew. Tits not gonna rat me out. But this kind of thing is bad for my heart. My weak, weak, nerdy heart. <laughs> uh, 
Ugh, you guys pick a name. No, I, it, it's hard to remember which one to say. Okay, okay, let's vote for Huron. We can call her actual name Makoto. We can call her boobs like we've been calling her. We can call her tits, tits and ass, TNA, or Tina. Do, do, do. Tass. Tass is actually a cute name, like Taz. I don't think people would get the reference though. We want to make sure that everybody that comes into the stream when they see more boobs, uh, uh, make sure that they know what we're talking about. <laughs> Milky. <laughs> that just makes me want milk duds, which I don't even like, so. You're green! Okay. I'm just gonna call her TNA, as, or try to call her TNA. It's hard to remember, okay. TNA? Okay. TNA, TNA, tits and ass. I'll say tits and ass sometimes for emphasis, how about that? Boobs and flatty. Oh, you guys are giving me opposite, whatever. I'm sticking with flatty though, because she is flatty. <laughs> Literally, each one of you voted for one thing. This is difficult. <laughs> well, here it is. Breakfast is done. Oh my. This is rice, miso soup and natto, fried fish. What a traditional Japanese breakfast. It's been so long since we've had one of these. Miso soup, a protein-packed Japanese breakfast soup usually made with tofu and seaweed. If you didn't know that, you're a dumb fuck because miso is everywhere. Miso, not miso. Natto is disgusting. Don't ever eat natto. Fermented soybeans, polarizing for its extremely gooey texture and strong taste. Like I said, natto is disgusting. Like I like I like pretty much every other Japanese food I've ever tried, but natto bleh, no. TNA. Okay, TNA got one more uh one more voice, one more thing. New Pokemon game. <laughs> what? Yes, this is the Pokemon game where all the Pokemon are body parts. And jizz. I forgot to buy bread yesterday, but it's nice to do this every once in a while, right? Wow, this is I guess she realized that I wanted to eat a Japanese-style breakfast yesterday, because she's psychic. Huh, you really forgot to buy it? What? Nothing. I was just wondering what you didn't, why you didn't tell us to pick it up when we went shopping last night. I told you, I just forgot. But you checked over the shopping list so carefully. Twitch plays and go go to fun. Hey, we kind of are. Every time I have an option, I let you guys do it. But we only had one option so far. That's that's the problem with a lot of um, dating sims is it's mostly reading. There's not really that much choice going on, especially with, with some of them. There's like one choice in the whole freaking game. <sighs> Natto is like Cthulhu snot. That is perfect. I'm going to use that. Every time someone's like, you want Natto? But like, no, I will say no to that Cthulhu snot. Thank you. <laughs> you want to eat a Jap breakfast, so he must eat one of them, wink of wink. What? Oh, you made a straw poll for the name of Tiss. <laughs> Alright. How about we'll alternate? Whatever comes out of my mouth first is the one that, that goes for that. Okay. Ugh. Ah, that's it. Silly Flatty Chan. I wonder if you did this especially. I did not. I just felt like making it. Really? I thought it was because you didn't have any bread. I didn't have bread, and I just felt like making it. Flatty. C come on, cut it out. Eat it up before it gets cold, okay? Itadakimasu. Come on, eat up. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Uh, itadakimasu. <laughs> so what do you want to do today? Huh? Why are you surprised by that question? Don't say huh. I'm talking about sightseeing. Oh, I thought you meant about coming in my pants. Oh, oh yeah, that. Let's see, where do I want to go today? Today I want to go to... Pool time! So, we've been to Ginza. Ginza sucked. No more Ginza. We have Asakusa, Agihabara, Ikebukuro, Shibuya, and Shinjuku. Luckily, there's six choices and we're supposed to be here for seven days, so I'm assuming we're going to have a chance to go to each one of them. But I'll let you choose which. If you guys don't pick in the next 10 seconds, I'm going to Akihabara, Akihabara, yeah, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we have one vote for Shinjuku and one for Asakusa. So. Second one for Asakusa. Okay, we're going to Asakusa. I don't know what Asakusa is. I don't know anything about it. 
I think I want to go here. Uh, that's a good choice. It has a lot of examples of traditional Japanese culture. Traditional Japanese culture? Yes. I'll be taking you around today. Damn it, I wanted Flatty! I see. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be heading out right after breakfast, so be prepared. That's okay. We'll do the other choices next. I don't know how long my voice is going to hold out, but it's only 7.20, so as long as you guys are, are being entertained, I can keep going for like another hour. So, sure, got it. Although I should probably ease up on the uh, the American voice because it's making my throat hurt. <laughs> my chat stream is going slow. I know, it's the, de it's the delay. It's from Twitch, and when Twitch broadcasts, unfortunately, it, it, yeah, delay. Delay happens. Someday, maybe if I can do this as like a regular thing, maybe I can invest in another service that doesn't have such a delay, but we'll see. Exactly, Stefka. He is the biggest weeaboo. Just wait till you go back and watch the, the video from the beginning, because he says some very choice lines at the front that are, that are just hilarious. What kind of place could it be? This should be fun! And then she takes him to where the Yakuza hang out, and they beat him up, and he dies, and the game is over, and everyone's happy, because that's the best outcome possible. I should save. I haven't saved in a really long time. Quick save! That's not what I wanted to do. Save and learn! I'm gonna save and learn! I don't know what the point is. I mean, there's no choices, but whatever. Itakimasu! Oh, that's her. Itakimasu! Itakimasu! Japanese ritual phrase used when living the house. Itakimasu! <laughs> it's kind of hard jumping between the voices. Ite roshai, Japanese ritual phrase used when seeing someone off. <laughs> hey, Titsnas. What is it? So, could you tell me where we're going already? Huh, I don't know. I wonder if I should. Come on, why not? Just tell me. Oh, if you insist. Here. I'll tell you. Waza, waza, waza. Actually, I need, I need to make it creepier. Waza, waza, waza. That's, that's the Japanese sound effect for whispering. <laughs> Today we're going to... There will be boobs when it's on YouTube, so don't worry. <laughs> I do have two monitors. What are you talking about? The, the, the thing there. Or you mean you want me to use another chat service or something? Because that's, that's kind of... Not good. I know 20 viewers, well now it's down to 19, but <laughs> that's alright. We're, we're having fun here. Where? Asakusa. Oh, Asakusa. Oh, you know it? I saw it in a guidebook. It's a peasant town that keeps up the atmosphere of the good old days. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> Looks like she's blowing someone. That's right. It's hard to explain in English, but in Japanese it's known as the Shitamachi. Shitamachi, literally low town, the coastal area occupied by peasants and merchants. The nobles lived on the highlands in the area known as Yamanote. Wow. Shitamachi, huh? Don't you speak Japanese? Why are you having trouble saying that? You'll understand when you see it. Hyabu... Hyakubun wa ikka ni shiza... Hikazu... Hyakubun wa ikka ni shiza... Why is that last word messing me up? Hyakubun, hyakubun wa iken ni shikazu, as they say. Hyakubun wa iken ni shikazu? It's a Japanese proverb. It means that seeing someone for yourself, something for yourself gives you a better impression of it than any description could provide. <laughs> In English, I think it would translate to seeing is believing, maybe? Tabu? Oh, yes, I see. Anyway, shall we be off? Sure. Constant asking for affirmation after, like, every sentence. Let's see. I'll need my Suica to board the train. Here we go! Ah! Oh, wallet waving! It's so cool! I've still got plenty of money on it, so I'll just hold it up to the terminal. Okay. My eyes are irritated. Yeah, I need to get rich so I can get laser eye surgery. Huh. <laughs> nice job, you reject. This is so nice. I don't even have to check the price of the ticket each time. I know, right? All right. With this, I've completely mastered the trace of token. <laughs> I need... I'm I'm going to take a sip of my drink every time he says something ridiculous. And I didn't for like the last three, so I'm going to take three big sips. And yes, this is alcohol. Mm. 
<laughs> Hopefully I'll be sloshed by the time we uh, actually have sex. <coughs> Ah, Shitanachi. <laughs> that sounds Spanish all of a sudden. Or so I thought. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to answer that to you. Tatoise. What kind of name is that? Tatoise. You are now Tatoise. <laughs> Anichan. Ah, we have to get off here. What? Because we'll be taking the Yamanote line. Yamanote Line, named after the Yamanote region, is one of the most popular train lines in Japan and runs in a loop, stopping at some of the most popular spots in Tokyo. Now you know. Yamanote? Yeah, you don't want that side, you want this side. Huh? 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 Now we're transferring to the subway! Wait a minute! Whoa! Awesome graphics! Three dollars and twenty-three cents! That's ridiculous! Pant! Pant! Are you okay? Um, yeah, I just spit all over my screen. As I told you, Japan has many train lines and they join together in complicated ways. Even native Tokyoites get confused. If you're ever riding by yourself, make sure to plan your route beforehand. There should be plenty of English rail maps online, so make sure you make good use of them. How do you have internet? That was insane! It was ridiculous to think I could master this in one day. Yes, it was. You dumb fuck. It's nice that they have monitor on the train that tell you the next station and the announcement were very clear, but I'm not sure I'll ever get used to this. Plus... Huh? What's wrong? He got tired from riding the train. He is. Nope, no more boobs. I mean, there's, there's boobs as in Tina, but that's it. Nothing. I was just wondering. Is there a festival today or something? A festival? Why? There's just so many people around. I just got to wondering. Oh, I see. I'm sorry to tell you, but it's not a festival day today. What? Then you're saying? Yes. Some stations are more chaotic than others, but this is business. Business. This is business as usual for last station. Yeah, I see. Hey, hey are you surprised? Okay, I'll stop that. A little. A lot, actually. People in Japan. It's such a small nation with so many people in it, I'm so surprised that it'd be crowded. I should probably warn you, the big stations could get even more crowded than this, and then the groping happens. I hope your anus is prepared. <clears throat> hey, if I was taking a shot of tequila every time he said something ridiculous, I would die of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> Cleo-san, I like that. Actually, I used to have a, a bunch of Japanese friends, and I would go over and practice English. Like, I would speak English, or no, I would speak Japanese, and they speak English, and we would like correct each other. And these super adorable little kids, and they would make me food, and they'd always call me Kudasan, 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 Kudasan. It was so yeah, wow, I love it. I'm kind of a weeaboo too. I'm not as bad as this guy though. Fuck this guy. I keep pointing at things, and you can't see. <laughs> Anyway, the next step is ours. We're almost there. Uh, sure. Tokyo can be a terrifying place. Lots of people in a train station. What's next? <laughs> okay, er, hey, here we are. This is a lot of fucking white. Ah, I'm blind. For the groping? Why would you need to prepare your dinginess for the groping? Do you, do you really want me to answer that? Oh, we're down to 15 viewers. People people didn't enjoy the train ride. Wow, it's really Asakusa. Asakusa. I thought she was taking me to a sex stop. That's right. Asakusa, the town that recalls Japan's nostalgic traditions of rapery and... Rapery. Rape and, and sexism and, and cutting people down for looking at a samurai funny. I love tradition. This Akasusa... Uh, why can I not pronounce words all of a sudden? Asakusa. There we go. I totally took three years of Japanese. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's not quite like any place in Japan I've seen yet, considering it's the second place I've seen. <laughs> I don't know why. The street is so alive with tourists from everywhere, local and foreign. Florin. <laughs> We're playing Starbound. And beneath it all, there's a strange sort of atmosphere, like a deeply felt yearning. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> you guys are funny. 
Concho! Oh, I love Concho! I mean, I love the concept of Concho because it's hilarious. I don't actually want to be con Conchoed. No Concho, please. Concho bad. Concho being, of course, the fun little pastime of little Japanese kids where they, they go like this and they try to go up your butt. It's, it's like, ha ha, poke. There's this blog I used to read about, uh, written by this big black guy that went to Japan and was teaching English there. I forgot what it's called. It was really interesting because it was like an American's perspective of Japan and it was kind of funny to see him go from like weeaboo to like not a crazy person. <laughs> I don't remember the, the name of it though. It was a long time ago. Anyway, beneath it all, there's the river. We already read that one. Boobs, you're back. Hey. Do you know about the Edo period? What about the Edo period? It was a long fucking period. Edo period? Yes, almost 200 years ago. Well, put simply, it's the era of the samurai. Concho Cleo. I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh. Oh, you're, you're referencing the, the... You misspelled it, so I was confused. Concho. K, but... I am teaching you about Japan. So in Japan, people like to stick their fingers up your butt. Allegedly. I don't know. Maybe that's a stereotype. I've never been, so I can't say. I know, I'm like the only person I know that hasn't been to Japan. Oh, I know samurai! This place, Asakusa, was a flourishing town during the era of the samurai. Wow! They're all gone now, as far as you know. But back in the day, there were theaters lined up and down these streets like Broadway. How would you know what Broadway looks like, you little Japanese girl? You've never left this country. There were also, um, what we'll call adult activity houses, and various entertainments. It was a thriving pleasure quarter. <laughs> Alright. Whew. This is, this is taking a lot out of me. This is hilarious. Gaijin Smash! Yes! Thank you! I love- Oh, I need to Google that shit now. Not that I have time to read it, but whatever. In fact, it was so popular that it was called one of the three worst places in Edo in the day. Wait, it's a pleasure house, but it's the worst place in Edo? They must have really crappy horrors. I see. Too bad it's gone. A pleasure quarter. <laughs> Sex is funny. What? What is it? Why are you laughing? Nothing. I just noticed your expression suddenly changed when you heard the words pleasure quarter. Pleasure quarter. Uh, what? No way! I don't have any interest in- Wow, you're, you're a young man and you're claiming you don't have interest in a pleasure quarter. Don't even try, bro. <laughs> it's just a joke. Oh, just a joke? Don't scare me like that! What is, what is there to be scared of? <laughs> I'll pleasure your quarter! I like that. That's That's good. You have to go, oh, okay, goodbye, Wedge, thanks for joining us, and yeah, I'll put this on YouTube as long as I can get the video. Even if I can't, uh, Twitch should be recording it automatically, so you can watch it on Twitch. I'd rather you watch it on YouTube, because then I get the views, but it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> <laughs> but when you deny it so vehemently, it's like you're admitting it's true. Yeah, flawless logic there. What, it, what is it? He thinks he doth protect... Blah. That burp ruined it. He thinks he doth protest too much. Ugh! I think she's making fun of me. Well, she did just say she was joking. Wife is in the room. Palm Springs. Hi, Zeus's wife! We're just molesting Japanese girls. You should join us. Ugh, anyway. Hey, tits and ass. What's that big round thing hanging <laughs> from the gate? It's a lantern, you dumb fuck. With all the anime and manga you've read and watched, you don't know that that's a lantern, really? In a bad way. There's there's not a good way to get conchoed. I well, it depends what you're into, but Oh, that's a cochin. Chochin. Chochin. Chochin? Choch and Chochin. That's a Chochin. It's a it's a large scale ver words are hard. Oh, that's a Chochin. It's a large scale version of the old time lanterns. The word written on it is Kaminarimon. It means something like Gate of Thunder in English. That's pretty metal! <laughs> this is only my second one. I'm not gonna get drunk off two. Three, maybe. Not two. Alright! Continuing on in our epic quest of getting through this game. 
<laughs> now that you mention it, it really is. How do you know what metal is? You're Japanese! So why does it have Kaminari Mon written on it? Well, have a look. At either end of the gate... That's pretty metal. Ugh, wooden statues. <laughs> right, those are the gate's guardians, Fujin and Raijin. They're the gods of wind and the god of thunder, so... Note, the Rai and Raijin is either reading for the character used to read Kaminari. Is another reading, sorry. Both mean thunder. Oh, uh, then why is the gate named after just thunder? What about the god of wind? Right, the truth is the gate's proper name is Bu Rai Jinmon, gate of the gods of wind and thunder. It's written properly on the other side. I see. Anyway, as long as we're here, do you want to go inside? Sure. So metal, I might get tetanus from the rust. That's hilarious. Her tits might be metal. She might be an android. This is Japan, after all. <laughs> yes, Raichu! Oh, I love Raichu! I like Pikachu better, though. I like Pichu best. Oh my god, I need to play more Pokemons. I need to play as the Pokemons. I haven't been playing it. I've been obsessed with this phone game called Brave Frontier, and I haven't even touched Pokemon for like a week. I'm a terrible person. Anyway, wow, what a com busy commercial district. I'm getting slightly tipsy. This is true. <laughs> Tipsy Cleo is super talkative with Cleo. Basically indistinguishable from normal Cleo. Just uh, with more messing up of the words. <coughs> it's not a commercial district at all. We're on the grounds of the Sensuji Temple. What? We're inside a temple? But there's so many shops, it looks just like a shopping street. They sell commercial goods inside of a temple. Now that's religious respect. I think that comes from the old days when people came from far and wide to visit these big temples. Chobits! Refreshment stands and souvenir shops started to spring up to cater to those determined travelers, and it evolved into this. Wow, I never knew there were shops on the grounds of temples. That's amazing. Still, the selection is amazing. I see things like souvenirs, what looks like toys, even wigs, kimono, and all kinds of food. Amazing! That should be like a meme. Amazing! Anyway. As long as we're here, do you want to get something to eat? Yes! Dongo! Dongo and octopus balls! I love octopus balls! They're so freaking good! I really, I really do like octopus balls. They're delicious. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see. How about those? Huh? Excuse me. I'd like two of these. Here you are. What is this? It's called Ningyo Ya- Nin- Wow. Ningyo Yaki. It's an Asakusa specialty. Wow. This is a snack, I guess? It's shaped like a person's face. Weird. They just fried it, so it's still hot. Eat up. Sure, okay. Eat the ducky boss. Wow. I do love octopus balls. Have you had them before? They're delicious. There's a lot of Japanese people around here, so. She used my money. Ha <laughs> that whore. It's so sweet! Hey, what's the sweet dark stuff inside? It's cum that's gone bad. Oh, that's called Anko. It's made from a bean called Azuki that's been boiled and sweetened. A bean, huh? Wow! Do you like it? Yeah, it's sweet and delicious. This is amazing! I could make an entire drinking game out of just how many times he says amazing. Like, this is what, 30th time? I'd be dead of alcohol poisoning. Maybe it's good that I'm not. You could kill hours just at the shops alone. <laughs> Here we are. This is Sensoji. This is. They say the temple first began operation 1400 years ago, but this main building itself only dates back 400 years only. It burned down several times because of earthquakes and wars, though. The current main hall is only about 50 years old. What a jip. I see. I guess you can't help a wooden structure catching fire, but it's a shame something so old had to be lost because of a war. <laughs> you should know better than to use headphones with my streams. <laughs> Look at that. Did you see that big incense burger over there? Incense burger. I'm hungry. Wow, that's just a photo where they applied a filter to it. That's how lazy they are, they couldn't even draw it. 
Oh, wow, yeah! Smoke is rising out of it, as usually happens with incense burners. Amazing! <laughs> they say that if you burn an incense stick in it and let the smoke wash over you, you'll be cleansed of the darkness inside you. <laughs> wow! So it's like a magical charm? A bit. The smell is like a ward against evil. As long as we're here, do you want to try? Sure! Okay. Light the incense stick. Then lean over the rising smoke. Okay, it does make me feel a little better. And then you get dizzy and fall into the incense and burn to death and the game is over and everyone's happy. <laughs> it's very simple. You're an idiot. <laughs> you still don't... don't go to Japan. That's how you deal with Concho. <laughs> What does Stefka not have? Stefka. What? Oh, you guys are talking about playing chivalry together. No, don't go away. I want you to stay here and keep my chat lively. It's fun. Oh, we're down to 13 viewers. People are bored. Oh, well. Anyway, shall we visit the temple? When worshipping at a temple, there's a ritual you have to follow. First, the Chozu. Chozu? Do you see the little stall where the water is flowing? You purify your hands with that, and it's called Chozu. <laughs> you silly reverend. Reverend Shan Shman. <laughs> yeah, you'll sit here. Okay. You mean I'll be washing my hands, basically? That's right. Give it a try. Can you figure out how to wash your hands? Good boy! Take the ladle in your right hand and wash your left. Then change hands and wash your right. You're really explaining something that simple. Change hands again. Keep a little water in your left hand and brush it lightly against your lips. Ugh. Wash your left hand one more time, then hold it so the water pours over the handle of the ladle, and you're done. Simple, huh? Give it a try. What is happening right now? Yeah, okay. First I wash my left hand, then switch hands and do my right, and then swap hands again and wash my left, and then... Is this okay? Yes. You did very well for your first try. Your first try washing your hands. Ever. With your hands washed, you're ready to worship. First, stand in front of the Buddha and throw an offering of money into the wooden box. You can give as much or as little money as you like. I will give one cent. Okay! There. Then last... I know! I clap my hands twice, right? Wow! You know your stuff, you silly weeaboo! I sure do! That lets the gods know you're here and ask them to cleanse you of evil. I've seen it done before in anime. <laughs> Why did that cough? Cough, cough. Put the cap on. You guys are really obsessed with the concho thing. <laughs> Relax, you're not actually in Japan, and as far as I know, that only happens if you're a school teacher around small children who hate you. Or who love you, actually. It's like a sign of affection or something? I don't know. Ugh. <sighs> But unfortunately, huh? That's how you pay tribute at shrines, you know, honoring the Japanese gods. This place is a temple, a Buddhist place of worship. There's a different method to it, you dipshit. We're down to 12 cents, we don't have to get a day job. Obviously, we should be a sex worker because we're so good at it. <laughs> I, I see. And here I thought I was being so clever. I guess I failed. When worshipping in a temple, you just put your hands together and pray to the Buddha. That's all. Put my hands together? Okay. Sorry, it's first boring. <laughs> I hope my stay in Japan will be full of amazing memories. Well, so far you think fucking everything's amazing, so. Bigger, blacker phantom. <laughs> that was awesome. I love that. That was hilarious. I wish that was not copyrighted so I could make it a TV t-shirt. <laughs> All right. Why don't we stroll around the area for a little while? I'm not going to be able to talk at work tomorrow, uh, which will probably be a relief to my coworkers. Sure. I just spit on my screen again. Ah, I hit the button accidentally. Damn it. Sorry. Well, this was just a rough tour, but I hope you got an idea of what Asakusa's like. Absolutely. That was really fun. We looked at a sign and we talked about shit. And then we left. That was awesome. Yeah. Then I talked about anime. <laughs> Clutch show. 
Wait, do I actually have a thing now that people are gonna say in the comments and it'll just be like an inside joke between you guys and me? That's awesome. I, lo I feel loved. Here, I was lonely and now I'm not lonely. It's... I think it's actually, it was an A, Concho. I don't know. You have to look it up. It's been a while since I saw it. Amazing memory set. <laughs> you made a Dark Souls reference. I love you. I love you people. Good. But if you want to know more about the city of Asakusa, there. Do you see that small carriage-like vehicle over there? Is it a rickshaw? Why is there a rickshaw? I thought that was a Japanese thing. I mean, a Chinese thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty funny-looking vehicle. That's a gin rickshaw. It's pulled by people. We have those here, too. It was a very popular form of transportation about a hundred years ago. Now I suddenly want to watch uh, Lovely Complex again. <laughs> That's one of the few anime I actually like. Jin Rikisha. The word rickshaw is derived from this term, which literally means human-powered vehicle. You can ride in it and get a very detailed explanation of the town while you travel around. Boobs! What did you think? Do you want to ride? Huh. <laughs> there are a lot of things I want to try, but I think I'll pass. Really? We can do it if you want to. She said it! She said we could do it! She said we could do it if I want to! Let's do it! Right here! Right here on the temple grounds! Fuck the sacredness! It's fine! Your explanations were more than enough for me! I don't need to actually have sex! We can just talk about it! <laughs> well then, I'm glad I came along with you! I'm glad I came! Now, where shall we go next? Welcome to the concho. Does that mean I have to concho every one of my subscribers? Because my fingers are going to get dirty. Mm. Do you want to go somewhere to eat? I'm starving. He's always hungry. Oh, sure. It's about time for lunch, isn't it? But, huh, I wonder what we should eat. That reminds me. I noticed it when we were walking around, but Japan really has a lot of restaurants, doesn't it? Huh, that's true now that you mention it. Ooh, I lifted my shirt! Too bad you can't see shit! <laughs> ah. A lot of them are cheap chain- well, no, sorry. No, don't go, bored guy! Okay. Thank you for joining us! See you in the video, maybe. <laughs> A lot of them are cheap chain restaurants, so you can really get by in Japan on the cheap if you go with them often. Go to them often. My voice is starting to crack. <laughs> Whoa, new guy. Wait, no, you're not new guy. Never mind. Sorry. Your vo your your name kind of bled into Zeus, so I thought it was the same guy. Your names are both red and start with Z. Leave me alone. And the storefronts all have realistic wax models of the food to provide elaborate examples. That is kind of cool. I always thought that was cool. I remember that from the, the one of the Sesame movies where Big Bird's in China, and he's like, I want that food. And they're like, that's wax. He's like, no, I want that food. You saw that. Oh, yes. Freaking chat delay. I'm slowly figuring out what you're talking about. I heard Japanese people are obsessed with food, but I guess that's true. So, is there anything you have a taste for? Like me? Anything I have a taste for? <sighs> anything cheap or I want to eat noodles. I think noodles are cheap. Vote, guy! Z no, Underdog's going to bed too. Why are you guys all on different coasts where you have to go to bed soon? Oh, it's only 8 o'clock here. Okay, you guys have to pick. Noodles are cheap. 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 Is the Pokemon thing like every time they have a choice, do they just wait like 17 seconds until the chat stream catches up? Noodles! We got one vote for noodles. Bye, Thunder. Bye, under. Oh, it does almost say thunder. That's funny. Two votes for noodles. Oh, shit! <laughs> I accidentally clicked the wrong one. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> it's almost 10. Oh, boo-hoo. 10 o'clock. No, I usually go to bed at 10. You only have a funeral tomorrow. No work. Oh, I'm sorry and happy for you at the same time? Question mark? I accidentally clicked cheap. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible person. I had one job! <laughs> Something cheap, huh? Like me? I know just the place. Let's go over there. I know this area intimately because I live in Japan and therefore know all the areas. 
Irashimase, a ritual greeting used by shop employees when a customer enters the store. Here? This is a uh, this is a Gumeshi chain restaurant. It's a famously inexpensive place to eat in Japan. Only slight risk of coming down with some horrible disease. Gumeshi? Right. It's a popular dish in Japan, so there are a lot of cheap chain restaurants for it. I'm sorry. Do you want me to go back to the old save and skip through everything so we can pick the noodles? Because <laughs> tough shit, I'm not doing that. It's very convenient if you want to eat on the cheap. She keeps saying on the cheap. That's a very weird expression. But now that I think about it, I don't come here very often because I have higher class than place. I have higher class than you. Really? Yeah. There's a bit of resistance to the idea of girls eating at restaurants like these. But you're with me today, so it should be fine. Now let's place our order. In this store, we'll want to buy a meal ticket. Only in Japan. Is it safe for a girl to walk, you know, start half naked down the street at night? But if she goes into a fast food place, all hell will break loose. Now let's place our order. In this store, we'll want to buy a meal ticket. A meal ticket? Yes. Do you see that vending machine over there? You even have vending machines in your restaurants? We do. Buy a ticket for what you want to eat from the machine and hand it to the man at the counter. So they must have no jobs, apparently, in Japan. Everything's just done by machine. <laughs> Fail stone? What are you talking about? <laughs> Big Bird in Japan! Was it in Japan? I thought it was in China. Oh, it's been so long since I saw it. <laughs> okay. Uh, man at the counter. Then pick a seat and wait, and your food will be brought out to you. Wow! The meal ticket machine in the store gives you pictures of the food, so press the button for what you want to eat. He said he speaks Japanese! Why? Urgh. You're slowly forgetting the point of this game. I know! There's too much talking. Do you guys want me to just, like, skip through this stuff and get to the, the, the sex parts, or should I keep reading it? I don't know where the sex parts are, though, so... <laughs> Okay then, I guess I'll go with Gumeshi. Then you'll want to press here. Now give the ticket to the man at the counter. Gumeshi, huh? I wonder what kind of food it is. Omatase shimashita! Omatase shimashita, a ritual phrase used by servers when bringing your food. Huh? That was fast, it's done already? Yes, you want me to skip this stuff? Or, yes, oh, okay. Hee <laughs> hee <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, I guess I'm gonna skip this stuff. So, Yumeshi, it's bowl of bright rice stopped by, okay, Tadakami, yes, ah, mm, mm, you like it? Yeah, it's so sweet, uh, stuff, rice, delicious, really, if you like to put condiments, uh, raw egg and mix through your dinner, I see. All that for only about 300 yen. That's a lot of money! You can really lift up the cheap, this, live on the cheap. This is great. Well, I don't think it's actually gonna be that, that etchy, because this game is on Steam, not on, you know, Newgrounds. Phew, that was a good meal. Okay, then. Next up. Huh? Wait, boobs! Huh? What is it? What is that? What is what? That! That thing! It's over there! <laughs> that giant tower! It's bigger than my erect penis! Oh, that. That's called the Tokyo Sky Tree. Tokyo Sky Tree? Yes, it's a broadcast tower that provides digital signal for all of Tokyo. That's a broadcast tower? Don't skip it. <laughs> uh, you guys are giving me conflicting information. Yes, until reason, I don't care. I don't care. Oh, wait a minute, it's not even finished. Uh, it'll be really tall. Man made structures. Second tallest is Rhinus S. Strange. No kidding. It's, uh, span is special. Okay. There is way too much, like, knowledge y shit. Never stop. What? You guys are confusing me. I'm just gonna look at boobs. Well, that makes a full day of sightseeing. Tits and ass. Oh, how about her last name is Ass? Tits and ass Tokyo tour will now be coming to an end. This is our last sightseeing spot? Yes. Now here's the question What kind of place do you think this is? What could it be? It just seems like your average everyday building. Let's see, judging from the size and shape, it looks like a gymnasium? Ooh, so close. Ugh. It's called the Ryogo Kokuhaha. Ryogoku Kokugikan. Kokugikan. It's the promised land of old sumo. Sumo? You mean like sumo wrestling? 
Yeah, I know, the chat light is horrible. Yes, I think that's right. Really, Osumo means sumo wrestling. That's a shocker. I never would have made that connection. Ever. Sumo has a long history. Don't care. 2000, long, low, row. Have you seen it? TV on the down in such strange ways. That's the reason why the rest of the week blah, blah, it's half of them. That's right. If you want to come, it's bad. It's not going on here. But if I come back, I'll have to check it out. Now you know all about sumo. Oh, and right next to the Goku of the museum, it teaches people about the history of Tokyo. Let's not go there. Let's go home and have prepubescent sex. Do you want to go learn? As long as we're... Aw, oh, I didn't even get the option. Sure, as long as we're here, let's do it. So apparently we're in a museum. Ugh. Wow, the Edo Tokyo Museum was really fun. Oh, good, we get to skip all that bullshit. Awesome. Seeing Tokyo notice, I imagine look like to the year. I learned a lot. So did I. To tell you the truth, that's the first time I've ever been to that museum myself. <laughs> wow, much weeaboo. Yep. What? Really? <laughs> it's true, unfortunately. Oh, she looks so sad. But this was a good opportunity to go. And I went with you, Kureo-san. Sorry, Bane-san. There's a lot of things I only had general knowledge of, so it was educational for me, too. I see. Yes. Being with you today reminds me of how much we have to learn about our own country. Thank you, Bane. Ha 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 ha! I didn't do anything, but thank you for saying so. Ooh. Hey, boobs, look at that. Who's that walking towards us? Oh my, it's an Osumo-san. A sumo wrestler, that's amazing. I've never seen one up close before. He almost looks like a real human. He's not just a big guy. He's got this amazing presence. That's it, he's got presence. Ten points. He's gone. Oh, they're not even going to show a picture of him? What a dumb game. There are a lot of sumo stables around here. Sumo stables? They keep them in stables when they're not using them? <laughs> so I guess it's really not uncommon to see an Osumo-san walking around. Yeah, they're really impressive. <laughs> that was a nice unexpected treat, but I think we better bring today's sightseeing to an end and head back home. Yes, for the sex. Sure. With no more sightseeing to do, we headed home. It was a day of unforgettable experiences, and I thought I would be able to head home in peace, but... Rape time! This is unbearable! What the hell is this? Why are there so many people on this train car? P please try to bear it a little while longer. Sexual. Right! I wish I could, but I'm seriously going to get squished here! Wow, this is so much like Yaoi. Help! Put up with that, you pussy. Uh, I have no money left, too. I, I wasn't even paying attention. <clears throat> I thought I was a god in there for a minute. Phew. Hey, boobs. Are we in... Tokyo's famous evening rush. Yes. Evening rush. Is that like college rush? Do you, do you, do you get waterboarded now and, and drink lots of beer and take your shirt off? Because I'd be okay with this. So you were saying, Japanese people do this every day when coming home from work? When work and school end, everyone goes home at about the same time. A lot of people have to ride the train, so what can you do? What can we do? I can't believe people are just okay with this. They should write an angry letter to somebody. That's right. To prevent certain strange crimes that happen during rush hour, there's a system in place to allow for women-only cars. Yeah, instead of just teaching your men to be decent people, that's, that's a totally awesome plan. If a man gets on them by a mistake, he'll get lots of glares. Oh, glares. That'll detract him. I see. But I guess anyone who'd want to do that deserves what they get. I'd better not do it. Totally gonna do it. Anyway, in the future, I'd better make sure we don't ride the trains during rush hour. Yay! We're back to Tsundere. Hey, let's eat out for dinner tonight. Eat out? You mean like at a restaurant? That's what eat out means, dipshit. Obviously. Did you think I was taking? My voice is starting to go. <laughs> Obviously, did you think I was talking about eating bento in a park at night? Bento, a single portion boss lunch made at home or brought as takeout. Right, but why do you want to do that? Well, you did come all the way to Japan. You want to eat at a specialty restaurant at least once, right? 
Huh, well, I really like a cure- Sorry, I really like Flatty's cooking, to be honest. Huh? I mean, it's really good. Ugh, cut it out. Stop joking around. Don't compliment me. I'm sending it. Grr. Huh? I wasn't joking around. <laughs> Flatty child gets bashful when she's praised. <laughs> My throat is starting to crack. I do not. I am not bashful. <laughs> uh, anyway, what do you want to do? If you've got a request for what to eat, you better make it quick. A request, huh? Let me think. There are a lot of things I want to eat, like you. But most of those things I can get in Japanese restaurants back in my country, and it'll totally be exactly the same. But when I think about it, I get the feeling that the dinner Flatty makes is closer to what Japanese people actually eat every day. That's it. That's what I want. What is it? What did you decide that you want to eat? Yeah, I want to eat that. What's that? Pizza! Japanese pizza! Sushi! I like Japanese pizza. Decide, 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 decide. Not a single one of you has voted. Japanese pizza! Okay. Sushi is not a word. Japanese pizza. First vote. Japanese pizza? Oh, sorry. Japanese pizza? Yeah, I heard about it. They say it looks a lot like a pizza, but it's way different. Something that looks like pizza but isn't? What could it be? Huh. I wonder if it could be that? Please be a threesome. Please be a threesome. That? Yes. We have one in our neighborhood, you know. What? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You'll understand when we get there. I love Japanese pizza. Okonomiyaki. Oh, it's so fucking good. Oh, that depends on what they put on it. Like, from my understanding, basically, it's like, you could put whatever you want on it, and there's some really weird ones out there, but every, every one I've had was really good. <laughs> is this the place? I see. Now I understand. My nose is getting stuffed. Hirashai! <laughs> This is a Japanese place. The words are hard. This is a Japanese pizza restaurant. My ears just popped. I can hear again. Yes, we call it Okonomiyaki in Japan. Hey, who's watched Ranma One Half? Ranma, Ranma One Half, and remembers the chick with the giant spatula. I can't even remember her name. Okonomiyaki. The wheat flour. Blah 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 blah. Wow. So rigid. Blah blah blah. Mojo potato standard. Yeah, okay, sure. Let's put our order. I think I want to try a special. Special. Yeah, it's got all of er, Yeah, it's got all, all kinds of toppings inside. Most restaurants have one, so if you're not sure what to get, it's the simplest things. I see. They all have a special too. <laughs> now we fry it up. Huh? You mean this is self-service? Some restaurants are. Some will fry it up for you, but some let you fry it up yourself. Personally, I think it's more fun when you fry it up yourself. Then what's the point of just not cooking it at home, anyway? Wow! Okay, here we go! Wow! <laughs> Why is he so amazed at cooking? Seriously. Holy anime boobs! Once the wheat flour mixed with the water, you can mix it with rubber and spread out a circle plan. Then once one side fries up, you use this utensil to flip it over. It's a hard skill to master. Really? I guess it does take some getting used to. I still can't get used to it, no matter how I try. Here, Aki-chan, you do mine. Bow check a wow wow. Okay, what about you? Me? I think I'd like to try on my own. Really? Well then watch me first. Um, um, I guess it's time. Now slip the spatula in between the pan and the ingredients. And as hard as you can, yeah! See? You just flip it over. I see. The trick is to not hesitate. Here, try it. Okay! Slip the spatula underneath the Okonomiya. That was a horrible mis- <laughs> Okonomi hockey, there we go. Then as hard as you can, yeah! Ah! 
Oh dear, that didn't work. How unexpected. It really got away from you. Don't worry about it. It just caved in a little. You'll just have to reshape it. <laughs> Fail. The boobs chick. I want to see this. <laughs> I guess it really is hard to get the hang of it. But it's definitely a lot of fun frying it for ourselves. The fetter stuff. I don't know. It's taking forever. Do you think they're cooked through? I think so. Now we add sauce and mayonnaise and sprinkle it on the anori and katsubushi. Uh, so much shocking. It really adds. Oh, wow. 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 This is. Yes. It's good. Let's eat. We're gonna eat right off the pan. This. Blah, blah, blah. I see. Kate, to Daphne, Hot me! Hey. Oh. Hey. Careful not to burn yourself. It really is hot coming right off the griddle. No shit, your luck. It's hot as hell, but. How is it? Hmm, it's great. I have no feeling left in my mouth, but I'm assuming it's great. But the sauce smells so good. Caking on the pan. Ah, uh, sauce. Pan. Uh. This is the fetish stuff. <laughs> so many toppings. Blah, blah, blah. Pizza at all. Okay. Someday we'll get to the boobs. Phew, I'm stuffed. 1,200 yen for one okonomiyaki, huh? I wonder if it would have been cheaper if I hadn't gotten special. Still for a pizza? That's pretty freaking cheap. Hey, Flatty. Oh, sorry. Hey, Flatty. You want to stop somewhere on the way home? Like a sex shop? Huh, I don't think so. I have all my shopping done. What about you? Me? Not a special... Ah, oh, let's go to a love hotel! That's it. I could use some money. Is there a bank or somewhere I could make a withdrawal? Why wouldn't you have just taken all the money you need anyway? <laughs> ah. There are a lot of noises. There are a lot of noises. A bank? I'm sorry, but all the banks are closed at this hour, and we don't have ATMs. That's our one fatal flaw. Really? Even the ATMs? Most ATMs in Japan close at night, too. It may be a crime prevention measure. It may be? You don't even know? What? How is that going to prevent crime? They can just freaking break it. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> Breaking bad. I see. Ah, but the ATMs in Colombia are open 24 hours. So you might be able to make a withdrawal of your credit card there. Really? Yes. By the way, do you have any traveler's checks? Oh, yeah, I don't have them with me, but why? Banks are about the only place you can blah, 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 talking, talking, talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call me, is that okay, Flatty? Sure. Ugh. Thank goodness I was able to get some cash from the Columbia ATM. They have vending machines everywhere, but 24-hour ATMs are only in convenience stores? And there are a lot fewer places that take credit cards than I expected. Especially in smaller restaurants. There are a lot of places you can't use them. Japan really is a mysterious country. Hey, a new person! Right when my voice is already giving out. <laughs> oh, that's the end of the day! Do we do we get a do we get another sexy time today? The beginning of this day. Ugh. 807. Morning. Oh, good morning. You're up early. Yeah, I got up a little earlier so I could think over where I want to go. I see. That's nice. Huh? It sounds like you're getting the most out of your days here in Japan. Yeah, of course. It's all thanks to you and Flatty. <laughs> when you say that, it makes us all feel worthwhile. Huh? Say, where is Flatty? She must still be asleep. That sleepyhead. Oh, but if you wouldn't mind, could you try to wake her up? We all know where this is going. What? Me? Wake up Flatty? But... <laughs> she does wear the same damn thing. It's nothing to worry about. I'm not telling you to go into a room. How else am I going to wake her up? Just stand outside the door and call out to her until you get a response. Okay. Ah, oh, I see. It's Flatty. I have no idea what might happen to me if I go into a room while she's asleep. She's clearly at Sundere. Okay, I'll go wake her up. If you would... This, they're totally setting this up for sexy times. Like, what kind of slutty sisters are these? I wish I could just let her sleep, but we can't start the day until Akira wakes up. I'm pretty- sorry. Flatty. I'm pretty sure Flatty's room is the first one on the second floor. That's it. The room with the open door. Huh? Open door? <laughs> Disappoint. Shield her gentle eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Not boobs. Oh well. We do get to see her with her hair down. 
She's so freaking feminine. Ah, oh, 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 dot, dot, dot. Or actually, dash, 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 exclamation point, exclamation point. How does this keep happening? First boobs, now I catch Flatty in a compromising situation. It's almost like I'm in an anime. J just stay cool, stay cool. Continue to stand here and stare at her pert little ass. Uh, ah. Uh, um, good morning. You didn't come downstairs, so she sent me to wake you up. But I see you're already awake, so that's good. <laughs> That was a letdown. We saw b boobs last time. Ball bulge. That's not ball. No, that's that's the way Japanese people draw girl parts. For some reason, they put like a, a bulge there, like for the mounds, and they're just like, yeah, I don't know, Japan. Who knows? <laughs> I like that it keeps this picture open like the whole freaking time. So anyway, I'll be waiting for you downstairs. Come down when you're ready. Just total casual. See you later. Just bye. Yeah, he just keeps talking. He doesn't, like, shut the door or anything. Phew. Now she should all know it's just a misunderstand. Yeah! Ding. Or not. Ah, hentai slap. This, so I have this thing when I'm watching anime or reading manga that determines how quickly I stop reading or watching that anime or manga. I call it my ah, hentai, uh, uh, Gauge, whatever you want to call it. Pretty much, if it happens within the first episode, I'm already 50% likely to stop uh, listening or watching to it. And if it happens twice in an episode, I'm done. I'm done. So, luckily this is, what, halfway through the game? So, uh, I'll finish it. I'll finish it for you guys. But yeah, this is my uh, ahead ties gauge acting up. My nose keeps popping. I mean, my ears keep popping. It's annoying. No, oh, I didn't read her voice. Ah, oh, per pervert. Uh, 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 whatever. I am not. It's a misunderstanding. Boobs just asked me to come wake you up. Shut the hell up. You can't save yourself now. S someone help. Da 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 da. I wonder if Flatty's still bad at me. Well, she's frowning quite dramatically, so she's been quiet all through breakfast. But she still made you breakfast, you lucky asshole. Um, um, what do I read, watch normally? I'll try a bunch of different things. Unfortunately, I feel like a total hipster saying this, but most of the popular stuff bores the shit out of me. I mean, like, Attack on Titan, all that crap. It's terrible. It's so cliche. Cliches are... Bleh. But let's not get into that. Yep, she's still totally mad. I wonder why. Come on, Aki-chan. Sorry. Come on, Flatty-chan. Don't stay mad. It's your fault for not waking up on time, don't you think? That was just... And I don't see how you can blame him when you were the one changing with the door open, right? Ugh. Anyway, it's entirely your fault, so don't be mad at him, okay? Fine. Now, as a token of your restored friendship, won't you make the after-meal coffee? Yes, ma'am. Phew, that was close. Thanks, Makoto. You don't have to thank me. I'm the one who asked you to get her. That's true, but... Anyway, it's over now, so let's not bring it up again. Got it. <laughs> yeah, there are no variations in scene. It's past my life fruitcake. That is an excellent way of putting it. It's, it's always the same. It's just... Have one, uh, one piece of it. <laughs> I don't know, I like smaller, shorter series. Like, Anohana was probably the last. Actually, no. Beyond the Boundary was the last one I got really into, which surprised me. I don't usually like, like, supernatural stuff, but there's enough hidden stuff that I really liked Beyond the Boundary. Anyway. Ah, <sighs> you have to peace out. There's nothing showing. It's just them talking. <laughs> it's okay, Zeus. You can stay. Okay, here's coffee. Here. Uh, thanks. I wish my nose would stop popping, though. Ugh. It's making it hard to do voices when my ears are popping. Well, at any way, I'm glad we can make... Huh? This coffee is... What is this? It's full of salt! 
Uh, no, screws not getting any smaller. It's the same size. <laughs> Fan service scenes. It's funny. Did she put salt in it instead of sugar? I'm sure it was just an innocent. Huh. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I guess it wasn't a mistake. Nothing. Nothing it. In that case, I'll just have to gulp. That's a totally normal response. Huh? Gulp, 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 gulp. I know, this game is not gonna have nearly as much sex as we were hoping, I think. But like I was saying, if it's on Steam, it's probably not a sex game. But I just wanted to see what it was. I think it's still been pretty funny. <sighs> ah. Phew. Wow, that coffee sure was great. Thanks, you should always make it with salt. Ah. Uh. Ugh. That was salty as hell. I probably have liver damage. Idiot. Baka. Huh? Give me your cup. Huh? Give it to me. Come on. Uh. Come on. When you do something like that, how am I supposed to stay mad at you? <laughs> Can I drink when she says weird stuff too? Flatty. Okay, here's another coffee. Take it. Well, I already just drank a whole bunch of coffee, but okay, if you want to give me more liver damage. Don't worry. There's nothing weird in it this time. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. You're just so fucking cute. Then drink it up. It'll get the taste out of your mouth. Yeah, thanks. Is there, like, a Twitch TV that doesn't have as many restrictions? Because I would actually like to do a hentai game sometime just, just to make fun of it. That would be hilarious. You guys should research that and tell me. Anyway, let's decide where to go today. So what do you think, guys? Should I should I wrap this up and do a different game, or should I do one more area? My voice is kind of getting shot, but uh, if you guys are having fun, I'll do one more. Oh, back up to 15 viewers. <laughs> this sugar tastes a lot like cyanide. That's funny. Uh, I heard cyanide is actually, like, sweet. I mean, I wouldn't know, obviously. I'd be dead if I knew, but... Ugh! My hair is in my face. I look horrible when my hair is behind my ears, but I'm tired of having it poke me in the, in the eye. Finish it! I'm not gonna finish the whole game. I'll just do one more level. Pick a level, then! You gotta pick a level. We have Akihabara, Ikebukuro, Shibuya, and Shinjuku. I still want to do Akihabara, but I'll wait till you guys pick one. Watching free feed, not the game. Oh, you're still here! Yay! I guess I've been entertaining. More areas. Okay, 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 I'll do more areas. You just gotta tell me which one. Alright. We've got one vote for Shinjuku and one for Aki. So we'll be the tiebreaker. Come on. Break that tie. Break that tie in half. Just go, hi ya! Hi ya! Uh, go go Nippon. Something something Japan. Aki! Two votes for Aki! Alright, we're going to Aki! Yay, yeah, I clicked the right one! <laughs> Three votes for Aki! Nice. Sorry, Stefka. I'll, I'll do the, the, the rest of the game in another stream. I want to go here. Wow. If you're going there, I'll take you. Yay! We get Flatty for our poor guy, finally! You, Flatty? What's wrong? You want to know Nea-chan? That's not it. I don't have any problems going with you. It's fine. No need to force yourself. I'm not forcing myself. I'd really be happy if you'd show me around, Flatty. Huh. I see. Very well. Then I suppose I'll do just that. Anyway, you pack up for the day, and I'll get ready too, okay? Gotcha. I thought Flatty might be in a bad mood for a minute again for a minute there. Thank goodness we avoided that. If we're gonna spend the whole day together, I'd like us to have fun. Aw, everybody wants to do Aki. I do have YouTube. It's exactly the same as my Twitch. Games are for fight. I, I don't know. I don't usually play games like this. I usually do actual games, but uh, you're welcome to check it out if you want. Most of these guys are familiar with it, so they can tell you if it's any good or not. <laughs> I don't want to cast judgment on my own videos. Okay. But I can't just stand here thinking about it. I'd better pack. What are you packing? Shall we be off? Sure! 
Oh, I know. Hey, do you mind if we stop by a conbity? Conbity? Oh, a convenience store, you mean? Sure, I don't mind. We've talked about company like 20,000 times. How did they forget? Wah! Seuss Tang, why is your font suddenly the opposite? Link? It's just games are for fight. <laughs> just Google games are for fight. <laughs> It'll show up. Thanks. We'll stop by the one at the station. Yeah, I know you only watch my Twitch. Because you are a Twitcher. Yurashaimasu! They've got books, foods, magazines, even some clothing! Like underwear, because it's Japan, and you can buy underwear from vending machines. This is nothing like the convenience store in my country. It's exactly like the convenience store in your country. <laughs> Kombini are awesome! At least you didn't say amazing again. <laughs> Professionally edited. <laughs> that was actually like the only video I've ever had that went slightly viral. And unfortunately I got a bunch of subs from it, but then YouTube fucked up the sub box. So now nobody watches my videos except those who are dedicated enough to actually look them up, but anyway, doesn't matter. What are you looking at? There's just so much more for sale than I expected, even though this is like the fifth time I've gone to the con meeting. I mean, look at this. They sell little cakes and even food. Food? Oh, you mean the bento? I totally thought they said burrito for a second. Bento! I never knew there were so many types of bento. Yeah, the bento you buy at a con meeting are also known as con meeting bento. There's lots of different types, and they have a new lineup every week or so. There are some people who get along eating nothing but konbini bento. A new lineup every week? That's amazing! That's unthinkable in my country! They never change dishes. Huh? This is... What? What's wrong? That's... That's a figurine from the popular anime! Do Japanese convenience store even sell these things? You buy a lottery ticket for 500 or 1,000 yen and get the figure it says. Oh, so you win these in a lottery. Ah, but can't you lose in a lottery? You can't lose in the lottery. You might not get exactly what you want, but you'll always get something. I see! As long as we're here, do you want to try it? Huh, sure, let's try it! Huh, gotta get my money out of my wallet. Oh, here, let me give you a tip. A tip? What is that? And what is it? You remember the suica you used to ride the train? You can use that to buy stuff in certain convini too. That sounds safe. What? Seriously? Yeah, why don't you give it a try? This is just a tour simulator. It was supposed to be like getting to know girls and finding out about Japan. I didn't know it would be so much Tori. You guys, this is your assignment. You should look up other dating sims that I can legally get without having to go through a bunch of downloading shit. And then we'll play them. And then I'll do voices. And uh, if it's uh, NC17 whatever, I'll probably get my channel shut down. So please don't do that. But then again, that's the funniest one. So. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. You guys can uh, email me suggestions. It's gamesareforfight at gmail.com. Pretty easy to remember. Uh, um, I'd like to buy a ticket in the lottery. That will be 500 yen. Uh, I'd like to pay with my Suica. Please hold it up to the terminal. Am I talking to a robot? Wow, I see. It has Suica written on it. Wow, amazing. Wow, wow, amazing. Wow. I guess I hold my car up here just like at the station. Beep. Wow, it really works. That's amazing. I can really pay with my Suica card. Just like an actual ATM card. Wait. Okay, please pull one lot from the box. Oh, sure. Um, ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Is this it? Let me see. I'm so nervous. I hope it's Pikachu, or actually the one with the big boobs. Ah, an F prize. Your prize is a plastic folder set. A plastic folder set? The F prize must be the lowest prize possible. It's still not bad, but I always wanted a plastic folder set. I know chivalry. I'm saying a dating sim. I already have plenty of other games to play, Zeus. Katawa Shoujo with filter. I played Katawa Shoujo a long time ago. It takes a really long time to get to any sex stuff in that. I think people are going to be pretty impatient if I do that kind of stuff. <laughs> I really wanted to figure read. Okay, I'm going to try once more. Excuse me. Stop! Huh? Let me remind you, our day is just getting started. Do you really want to have to lug more stuff out to our destination? Oh. I understand how you feel, but save it for later, okay? You're right. Oh. Oh, well. I'll just have to come back while I'm here in Japan. Thank you. Nope. Anyway. The lottery's cool, but beyond that, I'm more involved with a lot of vending machines. Suica, I see you can drive by vending machines. 
Is it immediately charged? Blah blah blah. A single charge. There's some cell phones that built into them if you carry your phone around. It's a convenient world. It's convenient seems like Japan such an advanced country, huh? That's not... Oh no, Akira. Sorry. Oh no, Fatty. What is it? What's wrong? That's the sound of the train. We have to hurry or we'll miss it. Huh? Ah, uh, wait a minute. We don't have time for that. Come on, let's go. No games. No games. Never. Ah. Uh. Did he just push her into the train? I bet he pushed her into the train. Uh. Pet. Pet. Ah, oh, we missed it. Look, I don't know why you're so upset, but there's nothing to worry about. The next train will be here any minute. Huh? Really? I called her Flatty. My nose is just getting stuffed, so it's hard to predict. Predict. See stuff. <sighs> what are you even talking about? Yes, look at the screen tra schedule. <laughs> train schedule. The next train is five minutes from now. Oh, you're right. See, here it is. Let's get on board. Uh, sure. The train really came exactly five minutes later. Wow, I heard Japan's blah, 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 blah. Could learn a little from this. Ooh, burn! Amazing graphics! I have no idea how much money I have. Just random amounts popping up. Here we are. This is, you mean, the place we're exploring today is? That's right, we're in Akihabara. Akihabara, 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 Akihabara. Where is this chest? I don't know. I like how he's surprised when he's the one that said he wanted to go here. Akihabara? Akihabara is the like the holy land for anime and manga fans. That's right, this is, huh? The thing over there, is that a maid? Whoa, and there's one over there, and one over there too, and I'm totally not going to show them because this is a cheap-ass game. The internet said that I could meet maids in Akihabara, but I never thought it would be those so many. Ah, Yoroshiku Onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku a ritual Japanese introduction. Huh? Um. She handed it over, so I took it without thinking. It fits in the palm of my hand. A tissue pack? Was she giving this to me? Wow. Wait a minute. Maybe that maid girl is interested in me? That earns three swigs. Ugh. <sighs> Beautiful. Sorry to burst your bubble, but she's giving that to you as free advertising, dipshit. Tsunade. Better every time. Huh? Advertising? Free? This? Uh, better not be getting sick. Yeah. Ah, uh, now that she mentions it, she's giving them to everyone. I guess I'm not really special at all. <laughs> what? Nothing. Were you thinking she gave it to you for some special reason or something? Huh? Well, what are you talking about? I wouldn't think that. Huh. I wonder about that. I, I really did it. Huh. Anyway, where are you going to take me now? I'm not sure. Why don't we just take a walk around the town first? Okay, let's go. I'm not getting sick. My nose is just full. I have allergies a lot. <laughs> a gulp is a swig. What are you talking about? Wow, this is exactly like what we were just looking at. Yes, this is Akihabara's main promenade. There are buildings lined up on both sides. It seems so busy. We should save. No. No. I hit a button. That's not what I want. There we go. Whew. Speaking of which, you don't smoke, do you? No, I don't. Why do you ask? Lately, more places in Tokyo are banning smoking on the streets. I do have a full nose normally. It sucks. It's because this little known fact... Uh, hold on, I actually closed something. Uh, this nostril doesn't work. I have a deviated septum, so when this one gets full, my nose is full. See? Oops, wrong one. Nothing. It sucks. 
Goodbye, Derpy GMR. Thank you for watching. I hope you had some fun. Obviously, you did if you stayed this long. But thank you for joining. <laughs> the Nile was a river in Egypt. Hue, hue, hue. All right. Uh, Chiyoda District, of which Akihabara is a part, is one of those. I totally keep butchering that word. I'm sorry. If they find you smoking out here, you could get a fine. So I just figured I'd check. I think you'd notice if I got a cigarette out, sweetheart. I see. Is that It's that way in American Europe, too. More and more parts are cracking down on smoking, it seems. It's getting hot. I'm gonna take my shirt off. But I won't. That's true. Huh. Anyway. Now that I look at it, nearly all the stores here are electronic stores. That's amazing. There are really a lot of electronic stores. That's why they call it Akihabara. Or that's why they tell... Ugh. Why is it hard? That's why they call Akihabara the electric town. Electric town? But why are there so many electronic stores here in Akihabara? Do you know about Ido? Not this again. Of course I do. Boobs explained everything to me. Then you're one step ahead of me. Whatever that means. You need a smoke break. You're an addict. It's alright. Go ahead. We won't miss you at all. <laughs> Anyway, there were a lot of fires in Tokyo back in those days. This was an open section of land designated, designed to deter the spread of fire. Around that time, blah, 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 wow, blah, 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 even I can borrow blah, the electric town, blah, blah, excuse me, blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's gotta be an anime store! As long as we're here, do you want to go in? Huh? Are you sure? I mean, we came all this way, but... You want to go in, right? So why not? Well, if you don't mind. Why would I mind? Come on, let's go. Sure! Whoa! The store is full of anime goods! It's like a dream come true! This guy is such a weeaboo. Come on, stop making a scene. Whoa! I know this anime! Whoa! And look at these things! You have to stop acting so amazed at everything. Thank you! Thank you, sister! Thank you for saying that! This is in your honor! <laughs> what is that big yellow thing in the sky? That store is full of dojinshi. Dojinshi? You mean dojinshi dojinshi? This is where I can get all the porns and my favorite characters is? Dojinshi is so freaking overpriced. Ugh. I mean, when it's here. I've heard in Japan it's actually quite affordable, depending on how famous the author is, but... I have a couple of dojinshi, and I'm always like, man, I just threw that money down the, to the, 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 down the tube. My nose is really stuffed. Ugh. I don't know what you mean, but probably. The ma magazines they sell at the comic market. I knew it! Wow, I'd heard about it, but I never thought there would be actual stores that sell dojinshi. I mean, it is technically illegal, since it's a copyright violation, but whatever. Haha. <laughs> Hey, let's go! Come on! Yeah, fine, I get it. Stop pulling my arm. Whoa! So this is a Jujinshi. I never thought they really existed. Whoa! They even have anime books. Whoa! This is amazing! <laughs> you really are hopeless. You're like a child. It turns me on. Hey, let's go to that floor. Huh? Wait a minute, that's... Huh? What is this place? Wait, is this the adults only? <gasps> now wait, the this is all... Come on, cut it out. Don't take me to a place like this, you idiot. So sorry. That was a letdown. Come on, this is completely humiliating. Sorry, I didn't know it was there. But it was amazing to see it. <laughs> All of those books were, well, you know. Maybe if I have time, I'll come back here on the slide and have a closer look. Huh? What? You were just thinking about coming back here on your own later, weren't you? What? I, I was not thinking that. Are you sure? I'm sure. Ugh. Flatty is really sharp. Pretty sharp. Yeah, I know. She is. She nailed you. She nailed your personality. And you will never nail her. Alright. Well, anyway, let's walk around the area a little more. Ah, oh, sure. 
I know. Do you remember that big building in front of the station? It was built just a few years ago. There are a lot of restaurants inside of it. But past that, there's a store where you could try to make an afureko. Afureko? Oh, you know, um, afureko after recording? Um, that doesn't make it much clearer. You know, after recording. After recording. What about that don't you understand? You know, when a voice actor does the voices for an anime or something. You know. Your hard drive is full. Of learning. Haha. <laughs> oh, you mean post recording? Post recording? When a voice actor records a character's voice for an anime, it's called post recording in English, or ADR. It is. I never knew that. Really? Then why do we call it afureko? I couldn't tell you. Oh, it doesn't make any sense. This is why I can't stand English. It's not like it's English's fault. <laughs> but telling her that would put. Blah. But telling her that would be like sticking my hand into hot oil, cause she's a tsundere bitch. Anyway, you can do an alphabet echo there. Got it? Uh, sure, it sounds interesting. Doesn't it? Now, as we go down the street, you'll start to see more Paxon parts stores. Huh? What is that, Flatty? Pasocon is a personal computer. You know that, right? They're the chobits, you can have sex with them, it's awesome. Yeah, it's personal computer in English. So usually we just call them computers for short, or PCs. Really? Then why is it Afureko just after recording? She's still on about that. Her. Oh, sorry. Huh. I know. <laughs> Phew, we walked around a lot. Yeah, I beat. Would you like to take a break somewhere? Sure, where should we go? Let's see. Huh, I know. I'll tell you when we get there. Come on, this way, let's go. Ugh. What's going on? Where is she taking me? Ah. There it's going. This way. What's this? It's like a miniature skyscraper. Come on, the elevator's here. Huh? Don't say huh. You want to take a break, right? Oh, that's right. But what could be in a building like this? Ah, here we are. This place is... Maid Cafe. Irashaimase. Will that be two for today? Please. This way, please. I knew it! The workers here are all dressed as maids! I'm genius. This is a maid cafe. Wow. Look at her, cutie pie. Here is your menu. Thank you. Please call me when you've made your choice. Okay. I see. So this is the infamous Babe Cafe. PC photo. <laughs> wow. Huh? What? You look so humbled. I was just thinking how classy these base cafes are for giving you a glass of water even before you order. <laughs> classy? That's not a mad ca or that's an anime cafe thing. All restaurants in Japan do that. Huh? Really? Yeah. Water, tea, and hand wipe are the basics of Japanese hospitality. Oh, I see. Japan really is attentive to your needs. Anyway, I heard the food here is really tasty, so why not try some? Huh? Oh, sure. Have you decided? Hmm. Oh, huh. I'll have the daily special. How about you? Huh. I'll have the thing in the photo here. The egg thing. That's omu rice. Okay, one daily special and one omu rice. Drinks are free at lunch time. At lunch time, I spontaneously developed a stereotypical Japanese accent. <laughs> Drinks are free at lunch time. Can we get that? Um, that's coffee, please. We'll have a coffee and an Earl Grey tea for after the meal. As you wish. Ah, and I'd also like um one of these cakes. One cake for after the meal? As you wish. Uh, I just heard that the cakes here were really good. I have an extra stomach for sweets. Why is she suddenly bashful? <laughs> an extra stomach? You know, it goes to a different place. Huh? A different place? Not really different. Just different. Huh? Come on, stop asking such complicated questions. Apparently, question mark, question mark, question mark is a complicated question. But I'm not the one who brought it up. Ugh. It's fine. If you want to eat cake, eat cake. I don't mind. But I don't want you to think I'm a pig or something. Why would you care? 
Huh? N nothing. Okay. I'm sorry for your wait. One daily special and one omu rice. Was the ten second wait too long? Whoa, this looks great. Yeah, so let's eat. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. <laughs> ah, it's rice wrapped up in egg. Wow. And the rice is flavored too. Is this ketchup? Wow, it's so good. Wow, ketchup. Clearly that extra space isn't her boobs. But um, shh. Huh? You've never eaten omu rice before? I'm not from Japan, so no. Nope. Omu rice must be a Japanese thing, right? I've never heard of it in any other country. She has bitty bitty boobs. There's a little bit of shade. A little bit of shading in there. Really? But I didn't think Japan invented it. It must exist in Europe and America. But I've never seen it there. Omu rice, was it? The name is kind of strange, isn't it? <laughs> now that you mention it, the rice is obvious enough, but what's the omu from? Probably omelette, right? Omelette? Omuretsu? <clears throat> right. It's a bit like that Afareko thing you were talking about earlier, right? That's true. Now that you mention it. These are the drunk, drunk drinking games you can make out of this game. Every time he says amazing. Every time he says wow. Every time one of the girls says now that you mention it. And every time he says something fucking weird. <laughs> Have all those drinks, drinking games going simultaneously and you will definitely die of alcohol poisoning. <sighs> Talking is hard. Yes, now that I think about it, there are an awful lot of words where we've borrowed English to make our own. That's true. But I think Japan has a tendency to borrow things from other countries. Blah, 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 blah. Really? Yes, I do. Hmm, that reminds me of something I've been made cafe. Yes, it's always from the dress, uh, dressed up. I know, but it's always hard. They would call you master when they meet you. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's right. I think most maid cafes will greet you with the phrase, Welcome home, master. Some of them will write phrases on your omelet rice and ketchup or play games with you. Or sing, write, or sing songs on the stage or have their pictures taken with you. It's funny, uh, Anime Expo, they have this like fake maid cafe and it's like, it's all white girls, obviously. Well, you know, American girls. And, uh, I've seen some really terrible, terrible imitations. People like with horribly fitting, horribly made maid cafe outfits singing terribly. But it's cute that they try, I guess. I don't know. I shouldn't be a hater. <laughs> uh, oh, the rice. Rice with bits of giant caterpillar cause in it. What? Uh, I'm hungry. I want a caterpillar roll. But this place doesn't do any of it. I took you to the lamest maid cafe there is. Really? Why not? Since this restaurant is shinise, as maid cafes go. What does shinise mean? Um, I think traditional is the right word. It's been around for a long time. I see. Wow! Fastidious food in a calming after- That must be a good place to relax. Fastidious food. Huh? That's the restaurant's concept. There are a lot of maid cafes around nowadays, and they all supply different, amusing surfaces, like the one where you get a free blowjob while you eat. But this place doesn't do any of it. They're continuing on the way they always have. Yeah, refinement, blah blah blah, lively place, not at all. I mean, lively places are fun, I'd be lying if I said I was interested in quiet lunch where we could talk with nice. Really? That's good. Thank you for saying that. Uh, Flatty looks so kind right now. Huh? What is it? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Here you are, your after dinner coffee and Earl Grey tea, and your cake. Wow, this looks great. Itadakimasu! It's so good. An extra stomach. Huh? What was that? Nothing. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Do you spend a lot of time in this otaku, I mean, subculture? Huh? Why would you think that? Well, when I said I wanted to go Akihabara, ah, da, 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 da. when I said I wanted to go Akihabara, I misspelled, missaid it twice. I'm tipsy, hi. You immediately volunteered to show me around. You knew where the anime stores were in this maid cafe too, so I was just thinking. Is it weird for a woman to be an otaku? Not according to that one anime that I like. What is it? Oremo? I like Oremo. Even though there's, there's hints of incest to it that kind of bug me. Weird? Why do you ask? Well, I know there's more awareness about them nowadays, but a lot of people still think girls who like anime and manga are weird. Some people are actually are actively disgusted by them, so... I don't think you need to worry about that. Huh? Well, everyone has their own hobbies and likes, right? It's not for anyone else to pass judgment on. 
No matter what you like, you're still flatty, right? That's true. Okay, I understand. I'm still flatty, so there's nothing to worry about. That's the way. Anyway. Anyway. I like those things too, so I'm glad we like the same things. You know? Fade. Oh, that reminds me. You like history, right, Flatty? History? Not especially, but I don't hate it either. Why do you ask? Well, you knew all about the origin of Akihabara, right? So I just figured you... Fucking Kirino. I know, Kirino drives me crazy. I just like the boy in that, in that show. Oh, I just looked up a lot of stuff so I could give you a nice tour. Whoa, she's got a hard on crush. Crush, hard crush on. <laughs> really? Oh, no, not like that. That kind of thing is just common knowledge. Uh, yeah, this cake is really good, though. Uh, I sure love tea. <laughs> Weird. 11,000 yen, 1,100 yen, even, for the Omo Rice lunch set, huh? That's pretty expensive. Oh, no, we better get going. Yeah, after we leave the May Cafe, we've got a lot more sightseeing to do. I also need to start dinner preparations, so... Uh, you can go around to the other bad ca bad, bad, bad cafes by yourself if you want. I said I won't. <laughs> no need to force it. I am not forcing it. Whatever you say. We'll leave it at that for now. Anyway, let's go home. Sure. What happened to seeing more sightseeing? Whatever. Akihabara, what an interesting town. I hope I can come back here someday. Maybe with Flatty again. Heh, <laughs> not likely. Ugh. Boobs! I missed you, boobs! What about... Hey, Flatty Chan. What's for dinner tonight? I just sat around being a useless fuck all day, so get cooking for me, woman. Huh? Tonight? I was thinking of making curry rice. Ugh, I hate curry rice. Yay! I love your curry rice, Aki-chan. Curry? Isn't that Indian food? Well, curry originated from India, but it came to England from there. It came to Japan from there, and Japanese people reformed it to suit their palates. Reformed it? I guess I've changed a little just from a few days in Japan. The same could happen with food coming to another country, too. Curry, too, and pizza, and pasta, of course. French, Chinese, Asian food, East and West, Japanese people eat food from all countries. And they incorporate them all aggressively into their own food culture. I have an image that Japan is all about sushi and tempura and sukiyaki, but Japanese people really eat a wide variety of food in their daily life. By the way, curry is up there with ramen as Japan's national dish now. National dish? That's right. Curry rice, curry bread, and even soup curry. There are many variations. I don't think there's a person in Japan who doesn't like curry. I'm not in Japan, though. Wow, curry's really that popular? But among those, curry rice is the king of kings. Everyone loves it, from children to adults. Just hearing about it makes me hungry. Doesn't it? Yeah. That was a rhetorical question, you dumb fuck. Ah, that's it. Hey, Flotty-chan, let me help out for once in my fucking life, okay? What? You want to help? Sorry. What? You want to help? Sure. You don't have to. I can make it myself. You talk to him while I'm making it. But you make dinner every day. I feel bad. Please? You don't have to worry about it. You don't need to worry about it either. But... What's wrong? It's not like you to be so dissembling. But it's just... What's wrong? Boobs is asking to help, so let her. I know she said that Flatty was a better cook, but Boobs can't be without skill herself. Ah, uh. Flatty? <laughs> I forgot. Okay. Fine. If you insist, I guess the later time can help me with the cooking. Curry is... I just... Uh, I don't really like curry. But I haven't really tried Japanese curry. I've just had normal curry. I mean, Indian curry. Really? Yeah. Hooray! I love being useful for once in my fucking life. Good luck, boobs. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Leave it to me. That's right. Maybe I could do something, too. No, you don't have to worry about it. Instead. Instead? You're the one who insisted that Onechan help out, so you're the one who takes responsibility for the final product. Huh? Responsibility? What's she on about? Anyway. Hey, wait a minute. Boo, or Flatty. Maybe I'll let Onechan make the salad. I got it. 
Responsibility? What's that supposed to mean? She can't. She can't possibly. La 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 la. Salad salad. First you make the dressing. We'll want lots of seasoning to make it nice and tasty. First I'll add salt. Huh? Wait. That's almost the whole bag. That's way too much. Now I'll add... What exactly is this? Oh well, I'll throw it right in. I am so fucking cliche. I, I see. This is why Flatty was so hesitant. So when she said responsibility, she meant... Here we go! Itadakimasu! Itadakimasu! Here you are! I worked hard on this salad, so do help yourself. Sh sure Ah, and you want to put on my special dressing. Is the special dressing milk from your gigantic jugs? Because I would be okay with that. Wait, no, I wouldn't. That'd be cannibalism. Ew! Thanks. In other news, what is this? Salad? In other news? Ah, I see some long, tortured strands of something sticking out from the bowl. And this dressing, it's an unnaturally bright green color. Please, help yourself. Ugh. Huh? But it won't get eaten if I just stare at it all day. I itadakimasu. You already said that. Here we go. How is it? D Deli? Deli? Really? He just instantaneously passed out. It's not, it's sort of cannibalism. You're eating a human byproduct. I don't know, breast milk weirds me out. I'm a girl and I'm disgusted by breast milk. It's true. I'm sorry. I thought I had done a good job today. Aww. Yeah, 10 people. I had 20 for a bit. That's all right, my voice is getting really sore. So I'm gonna wrap up as soon as we're done with this bullshit segment. She thought that was a good job? Anyway, at least Akira didn't let her get involved with all the curry at all. That curry really was delicious. <clears throat> I guess I now, I now know to leave the cooking in Akira's hands at all times. Sorry, Flatty's hands. I'll make sure to do that from now on, for all three days left. <sighs> anyway, at least it's over now. Hey, Onechan, do you remember what we talked about before dinner? Oh, yes, I do. What? What did you talk about before dinner? About that. He's only got three days left in Japan. We have to time... We have... We'd have time to make the trip, wouldn't we? That's true, because I'll be going home in four days. That's right. But I was thinking maybe you'd like to go somewhere a little further tomorrow. Somewhere further? Yes. Obviously, there are still a lot of places you haven't seen in Tokyo, but... As long as you're in Japan, we thought you might like to see some place outside of Tokyo. Some place outside of Tokyo? Like where? <laughs> a place no traveler to Japan should be without. Yeah, there's only one place. Please be a sex place. Please be a place and then that. Please be a sex hotel. Uh, are you talking about... Yes, Kyoto! Yes, Kyoto. Kyoto! Kyoto, I would like to go there, but... But... What? Do you have a problem with that? I don't have a problem, but I don't know a lot about Kyoto, and even if you want to go tomorrow, I don't even know how we'd get there. Oh, is that all? Don't you worry your head about it. Yeah, we'll go with you. Huh? You you mean both of you? Suddenly your house is okay to be left alone? Of course. I know you haven't gone on without with both of us. Gone out with both of us, but we want to go on this trip. Yes, I've been to Kyoto many times before, but this is a special opportunity if you're going. I see. I would never think about it if I was by myself, but having one of them there would be reassuring. Why would you not go? Okay, in that case, let's make a trip. Hooray, then it's settled. Yeah. I know this is sudden, but maybe we should make it an overnight stay in Kyoto. Magic wow wow! We'll take care of the reservation, so you just get ready for the trip. Got it! Kyoto, eh? <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> yeah. It's a really sudden trip, but I did come all the way to Japan. Getting to look at a lot of different places is one of the joys of travel. Kyoto. I wonder what's waiting for me there. This should be fun. Okay. That is enough of that. Day four. Got it. So, uh, as soon as it loads. Uh, well then, now are you two ready? Got it. So, thanks for watching. My nose is totally stuffed, so sorry for sounding so nasally. 
I was going to play some more games, but now I have no voice left and it's 9 o'clock anyway, so I'm going to wrap this up here. But thanks for watching. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the video uh, uh, recorded right so I can put this on YouTube. If not, you lucky streamers are the only ones to have seen this, so yay for that. I'm really tired. Okay, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Bye.